people good morning good afternoon good evening to every one of you it's good to be back here again <laughs> happy father's day to all fathers all over the world every good fathers let me put it like that happy father's day to all good fathers all over the world I appreciate every one of you for your continued support continue to press on the like button and let's talk let's hear from the people on the panel i'd like to go to williams winner which you, uh you're joining us from nigeria then i'll come to madame ellen joining us from nigeria as well williams winner it's good to have you on the panel happy father's day to you please talk to us sir. happy father's day to all father in the house god bless all the fathers i pray god we continue to protect all the fathers in the panel at the comment section in the world god bless every father in the name of jesus as well amen. god will bless all the mothers as well thank amen. you very much good evening to everybody in the comment section uh, i have just a little submission to give before i leave because i want to give other people's chance to to talk mr service you should know and we all should know that this is our country nigeria and there's nothing new again these old babas, all these aged babas, they thought they can bruise us on this 21st gen century as not going to work. Whether they color it, whether they use another word for what they were doing, as someone said in the comment you read that he was influenced by the Holy Spirit to be saying the truth. They will continue to say the truth whether they like it or not why because they have destroyed many lives and they still keep on destroying it but god will not allow them god will not allow them what i just want us to continue to say is that we will continue to press their neck with the truth and that is what we have been doing many people are doing it on this on the twitter many are doing it on instagram and we are doing our hair every day we will continue to say it. You saw uh, my concern. Maybe you are on a space some days ago. I, okay, it was here. When one woman was talking that it is the high time we have our own mainstream. It is the high time. I won't lie to you. I'm here in Nigeria. Many people love to listen to radios. And what are they telling them? It was all lie. See what the anchor was saying to Mr. Ochitoku. And now that it's now three weeks and people are celebrating his accolades, they are coming to him. See that kind of word. Accolating who? Someone that got there with fraud? Someone that was that that made many life to be in power and were accolate. Who are those people accolating him? For a board of the same feather, we always flock together. I want to tell you something. Presently, many people that are transporters, very close to me, very close people to me. Before, there is a bus that is very small, that is containing seven passengers. Before the subsidy remover, they removed, they were using 4,000 a day for that bus. But presently for them, they must fill it, they must fill it with about 11 to 12,000. Presently, many of them can't go out again. Hello, someone is talking. No, no, I, I, so I, I, they can't I, afford it again. Okay, sir, okay, sir. Because they can't afford it again, and those people have family. Some have children. Some have one of them have wives. They can't afford. That is the situation they they, they, they brought us to now. 
and someone is now saying they were collating him. Were, what about those people? When is if if Adari Dokubo or what his name got when went to the house uh, also rocked is uh, claiming that the the navy was stealing this. Is that not what our prince have been saying? That those people stealing the this twelve are not just ordinary people. They were the people in authority, and they know them. They were cabals. They know them all. If they want to start fighting among themselves, they should keep on fighting among themselves because I know their fight is going to bring good things to this nation by the grace of God. No matter what they have tried, all the secrets that have been hiding since all this year, God is going to continue to reveal them. I don't know where they are going to hide themselves. So everything they were saying is not going to work for them. Just imagine an elderly person coming out now debunking. I don't blame them. They only the answers. That's what they said. They said it was, uh, it, uh, I don't know the time that Mr. Laya Muhammad said that it, that it was it was orchestrated, it was uh, maybe it was displayed, nothing happened at Lake Stogate. So it is not the first time for them to debunk, debunk any new, but what they should know that they are messing with the wrong generation. Nigerian youth are not going to accept it. We are going to take back our country. They have a very limited time to leave. They should leave the country for us. They should go and rest. Our nation needs a new blood, and we are going to take it by the grace of God. That just wants us, I want us to keep on saying it. We keep on shedding the light. We keep on saying the truth to the authority. Whether they like it or not, the truth will always prevail. Thank you very much, Mr. Davis. I greet everybody. Happy Father's Day once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Williams Winner. God bless you. I appreciate you and I appreciate your, your submission as well. Happy Father's Day once again. I'm Adam Helen. It's good to have you here. Good evening to you. Please, I'd like you to talk to us. Unmute yourself. Good evening, Mr. Elvis. Good, Good evening, evening all the fathers in the house, comment room. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Elvis, you know, growing up, I used to um I, I used to believe that elders don't lie there's nothing you will say to me to believe that elders can lie mm. but it's only in nigeria that i've come to realize that oh my god this would they tell lies without blinking their eyes how can you come out and tell us that you didn't say what was on national television that somebody even had to caution you and said i don't think you should go in that direction and today you're saying, you know, you that, that they are they are twisting your words to what you didn't mean. These people are just a um, bunch of liars, and they are so they are so good at it that right now, no, I, I don't want to say that. I, 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 let me not use the word that they are so good. They are so used to lying that every day now their lies are being exposed. We've been kept in this position for such a long time that I think God is angry with Nigeria and is ready to purge us of all those wicked and unreasonable men. They've held us captive for such a long time. It's just, it's unfair. It's unfair, honestly. And then for the guy who said um, this man is receiving accolades, I think this, uh, at times, this, um, a, a rice tv or whatever i think they are playing to the gallery or something because for you to come and open your mouth and say that he's receiving so many accolades and blah 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 so is it that you're not seeing is it that you're not aware that all these things are just propaganda to get nigerians to get this because that's what they do to us we get easily carried away and excited Meanwhile, even as we are getting carried away and excited, we are aware of the lies. We are aware of what's happening. But because somebody just dangles something that looks like it, but it is not it, we say, okay, let us just say, work with what we are seeing. You never can, you never will know. Because all I'm saying this is because recently, a lot of people where I am coming from have been saying, who knows, possibly because of one thing or the other that he has done, it's just um, possible that he may be, he may just be, um, he may just be the one. In fact, somebody said it to me last week when, I, when we were arguing, he said, ah, that I heard that, um, you know, I heard that, I mean, that I think this man is the one that God ordained to 
come and change a lot of things in Nigeria. I was looking at her like, are you for real? Are you kidding me? Are you for real? And I, even though he's uh, coming from a very bad um, background, I mean, the, uh, his antecedent is not uh, what to write to me about, but I think he's uh, the one that, I just want to believe that he's the one that God has ordained to come and change a lot of things. How do you believe that somebody who does not have what it takes can come and change the narrative? How? With what? What's he going to use? And see the lineup of people that he's beginning to, you know, you know, gather around himself. Are these the people that will change the narrative for us? Are these the people? A criminal coming out on national because he's sitting under the seal of Nigerian descent to call a person that has never committed any form of crime a criminal? Who doesn't know what Asari Dokubo did in the past before he got that amnesty? and got the opportunity to tell me that he has four wives, he has fleet of cars, the only thing that he hasn't bought yet is a, 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 a Edison, private jet. And we are clapping for them. We are clapping for him. We are celebrating them. They are getting accolades. We're talking, talking like this. What is wrong with us? Who did this to us? That we can't wake up. We are, Nigeria is Nigeria has been in this slumber for many years. You know, like I was watching somebody speak today. He said Nigeria is supposed to be one of the superpowers, but see where we are because we have so much to position us to put us in that place. But see where we are. We are still struggling because of leadership, because of you know criminal dealers. Who doesn't know what happened in Portaco? If you go to Portaco, you can't breathe because black suit everywhere by the time you go out and come back every your whole body is turned to black because of what these guys were doing and he wants to tell me that he's not aware he wants to tell me that he's not he wasn't benefiting from it i beg this guy should free me and let me breathe i beg i beg they should just they should just go and sleep with their drama me my own interest is i'm just waiting for my mandate to be returned to my principal so that i can breathe Right now, I can't breathe. Right now, I can't breathe. Enough of these shenanigans. Who are they fooling? Who are they fooling? You arrest them. Okay, this man that you, 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 you asked, yes, he's going to go, go and pick. Did he do it by his own accord? Somebody asked him to do it. Somebody gave him the leeway. Somebody gave him the permission. Somebody, somebody gave him the power. Why didn't you go after that person? Why didn't you go after a lot of others that are behind what he did? I beg Mr. Niger watch. Let's just stress this matter. My own interest is in what is before us, our mandate, and we are going to get it. They will continue to disgrace themselves. They will continue to expose themselves. Like somebody pointed out, he did not speak because he wanted to speak. He spoke because the Holy Spirit was in charge. And the Holy Spirit will continue to be in charge. You see them, it will be heaping coals of fire. That's how they'll be emptying their mouth and emptying what is in their stomach so that Nigeria will know where we are. We, are, we, we have a lot, a lot of what it takes to be, to be placed in a position where we decide what should be happening in nations, you know, outside there. But we are where we are because these guys won't want to think. They just think only for their pockets only for their pockets and for their for the immediate family. Enough is enough. We must get our mandate back. Judiciary can't do anything. Let them come and tell us that what they've seen, what has been presented to them as evidence is a lie too, that they didn't see it. Sure, they are trying to bring up the one in Tribune. You know, they are trying to dangle that one so that by the time we know what is happening, they will bring it in and say, ah, this is what, you know, INEC said. Let them try and see whether it will fly. Of course, it will not fly. Nigeria, we've gone past that, uh, pl uh, that place. We've had enough of their propaganda and their lies. You know, we've had enough. Now we know. Now we see them for what they are. Four years don't open. They don't open too plenty times. So we know. We know. Thank you so very much, Mr. Elvis. Let me rest here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Ellen. God bless you. I really do appreciate you. You know, thank you for your wonderful submission. Yes, it's painful to see that uh, others lie a lot. They are part of the problems that we are facing today. Not all, but most of them. Most of them. 
Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I would like to go back to the top again now to see Mada, uh, Mama Ish O. Uh, thank you very much for joining the panel. Please, I would like you to talk to us. But before that, um, let me quickly appreciate the flashback. You know, thank you very much, uh, Mada Tusabi. Thank you very much um, uh, for the super chat. God bless every one of you. Nosakari, thank you. Janet Osawaru, thank you. Uh, Peace, Robert, thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Uh, Zipora, thank you very much. Um, Oga Louis, uh, uh, Okonkwo, thank you very much. Maka E, thank you very much. Uh, Mike uh, Oganemaro, thank you very much. Glory, uh, Samsi, thank you very much. Peggy Modi, God bless you all. I really do appreciate this. Guys, continue to support us by uh, wishing us happy Father's Day. Today, I did ask $1 if, if it's the minimum you can do, but write happy Father's Day puts. Appreciate us today. Is our day we are celebrating. Anyhow, to celebrate time, just let us be. Thank you very much. Guys, press on the like button. Currently, currently, we have only 240 likes. It's not good enough. Can we take that to 300? You know, that would be nice. Take the likes to 300 as I call on Mama Esho. Mama Esho, are you there? Okay, let me come back to you, Mama Esho. Let me go to uh, Mr. Henry Gabriel. Uh, Mr. Henry Gabriel, are you there with us? Yeah, I'm here, Mr. Heavis. Thank you very much, my brother. Good evening to you once again. Happy Father's Day. Please talk to us. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Mr. Elvis. I wish every responsible man happy Father's Day. So, first of all, let me go on this uh, this uh, Agbalagba, what they call Edas. You know, now it's, it's coming out to say he didn't say what he said. Are they taking Nigerians for a ride? The new Nigerian uh, Nigerian government is not functioning. The new Nigeria is not a country that is working. I watched this man talking on live, uh, in the, uh, in live TV online. I was watching him. He said it, but now it's, it's there. And no nobody NBA. What about NBA? What is it? What are they doing? Where? What are the DSS doing? Nigeria is it's not working. The, look at the government, the president they put there. It's not supposed to be there because they didn't win election. It's there illegally. Look at people around the the the, the so-called elected uh, president, all full of baggages, criminal criminal record. All nobody know where the where the, where his father is from, the mother, brothers, sisters. Nobody know about him to become Nigerian president. Then that is why this man can open, mouth, open his mouth as hard as he is, say something in the national TV. The whole world heard it. Then came back again to say it didn't. Are they? Are they? They think they think we are all stupid or foolish. But I'm just looking forward. One day they will say, okay, you know what? They invite the so-called uh, ex uh, president, that is his wife and himself. They should go investigated and prosecuted but we are not doing they're not doing nothing we just it's just like nigeria is just a cruise where criminals come walk around you know do whatever they want loot and go free talk whatever they want to say if you know they cannot say something like this now it could have been in jail what did you can you can say well that, that other people have not said that is making be in prison for how many how many uh, more than a year now nigeria is not for me and you Except we have a government that is working. All this kind of garbage will never, never stop. Look at the Senate president, the Senate, uh, former Senate president, Lawa. It's not Lawa, yeah. That must supposed not to be in uh, Senate at all. Nobody want, who want to investigate these people? Nobody. The DSS is working, is, the DSS is doing partisan, partisan, partisan. They're working against, they're working for the president. Corrupt system. Who gonna arrest who? Who gonna prosecute who? This is the test for us to put our eyes on this whole dish right now. They should not mess everything up as they messed up before, according to this uh, uh, revolution from this uh, former Senate who make a complaint uh, says it about his own wife. It's just the fact. It's what is going on in that country for many years. We, we are not shocked. We are shocked because he came out in the Senate to say this word. 
And I wish that one that one could give him time, could have said say more. But Tustin, I did, I, even though the ones you said before, it's already there. But they will not, they will come and come, they will come out shamely and say, I didn't I didn't mean it this way, I didn't say this word. If Nigeria is a country, if we have the so-called uh, so-called sound where they have in that country, this are this this time for them to do their job right now. Right petition against these people. But we have some Sam who are so tribalist, who are so cash out. We have others who are so cash out and shameless, who cannot speak speak the truth, who cannot defend the truth. It's not going to be. It's going to be the same. Going to be business as usual, except if we have a good president that is functioning, that system that is functioning. That's why they will try to stop with our beer. And nevertheless, Obi will come. If Obi come, all this, all this uh, garbage, all this uh, baggage will be one side. With things of the past, they're going to put people that they're going to put people in the office that that is working. Not the people who just come and cash and cash and cash and go uh, uh, cash out people. No, he did it in his own state. He will do it in the federal federal side of it. So if you look at you should have you that video of it's not uh, about uh, uh, the the um, what do you call it? Sorry, you talk about Sari Tukumbo, right? It's not that one. Hello. Yeah, the one for uh, Sari Tukumbo's um, allegation. You know, yeah. so what uh, at uh, Barista Tete was saying that is yeah. not surprise because even we said it before, nothing happened. Many uh, other people have said yeah, it before. Okay. Nothing yeah. happened. So it, there's every it, probability nothing might also happen this time. Hello, what is going to happen? <laughs> Bori was there. Vicky said it. Nothing happened. Tinubu is a criminal too. Who have a criminal record? He said he came to meet him in his villa. He was saying all this. You see, it's only a criminal. We support the criminal. How can somebody like Asari Tokubo go to pre uh, the President Villa, visit president, if that president is not a corrupt president, someone like Asadi Tokumbo. How can uh, criminals with protecting the Nigeria uh, well, or your well, how can well, we have military? How can that shows our military have failed? The security systems have failed. Criminals are really Nigerians. You see, it's not the first time. The, the so-called military, is, is, what he said is, is, is it's not new. It's not new. I'm not surprised. They said it before. But the problem is, the problem I have is this. Who going to do who gonna do the job? Who? The DSS that's following the, now become uh, polit, polit, politicians. Who going to do the job? The military who are, who are, who are working with the politicians. Who are doing the job? Who gonna do the job? The criminals gonna do the, the criminals gonna catch criminal. It's not gonna possible, except they have a good government that is functioning, a system that is functioning, gonna flush out all these baggages, all these criminals. Why in the military, in the uh, security uh, of uh, security agencies, they're gonna flush them out, persecute a lot. Maybe some they're gonna give them ROIP. So I'm gonna put them. So they're gonna put them in a, a life imprisonment without labor. Then it's gonna be. They're gonna be things that things, then they're gonna be something better. But at this moment now we have a government. That, look, at, we, have, we have no government there. Who going to arrest who? Tell me. Just tell me who going to arrest who. Tenabu, Bola Tenabu, who is who that who EFTC was investigating him? Did they have to shock in the boy now? They want to clean all their mess so that in case uh, they will be coming, they're not going to see anything no more there. They are a whole bunch of criminals. I, 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 you see. When people will say, uh, what uh, now uh, people are celebrating, uh, Tinubu is doing something for some day. Are you kidding me? Doing what? Arresting who? You think that Bwari did? People were clamping. What, what happened? Nothing. This is Bwari Promas that is on now. Till it will be coming, Nigeria will hear Bwari Promas. Let me let me be the one who, who carry weapon. Uh, maybe uh, Cutlass open in the, in the public uh, in the, in the national TV. I will be they will, they will be I will be print for more than 10, 15 years. I try to come up. He carry bazooka, carry AK for seven, carry criminals come to Abuja, carry talk, threaten military, calling military they are they, they are the corrupt uh, uh, thief. Who gonna arrest him? 
No, not body. It's the fact they are the same people still in Nigeria wet, and some are youth, and some are under Nigerians who are supposed to join hands to hold together with us to make sure we make do the right thing. They will be clapping, Baba, Baba, Edas, my chef, he's my chef. Who, who gonna arrest who? That's why, that's why I'm saying that if we cannot sort out the number one seat, Nigerians will go nowhere. Because nowhere. nobody is going to arrest anybody. Elvis, let me tell you so. Let me ask you a question. You have a company right now. You are in charge of your company now. You have a company, right? You are in yes. charge. They will play your, they will play the way you want, the way you, you the rules it. If they don't play, you kick them out, is not so? Yes. When the head when the head is not good, then the bottom is gonna be nothing. Nothing. We go nowhere. We go nowhere. nowhere. We can't sort this number one. But seat some out. people are some people here who live in Western country now will be celebrating uh Tiftunubu. Uh, he has, he has this, he's doing that. Are you kidding me? Sometimes Elvis, I'm not telling you a lie. In this court case, not over. I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna feel where my stomach sometimes I have I have something in my stomach. I have to I have to bring it bring it out sometime, but I don't want to bring it out in the public uh, forum. You know, it's getting worse. If the judiciary you have to do it fast now, because we, the evidence we have already is enough to 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 do decide this thing fast. We just because Nigeria is getting bad, no light. People are suffering. Look at the president now; he's going to France. Hello. But somebody will come here and tell you, ah, the person is, is uh, we didn't expect you're gonna do like this. He's doing well. Are you are you are you are you are you out of your mind? Well, you see, I'm not blame those people who live in Western some of them are cash out people. The government are they are they are this these are corrupt political uh, politicians uh, payroll. I don't blame some of them there. Most of them, most of some of us are brothers who are living in Western countries. They seem they are among these polit political payroll. So I don't blame them. But they are seen because they are seen, they are seen backward in their mental side. They are backward. I cannot imagine myself supporting Tinubu, supporting the others, the cynical, corrupt politicians in Nigeria, and the ones who seen it. I cannot imagine me wake up one day. If it's a dream, I, I will spit out. I wake up from that dream. Because I see where government is working. People follow laws. You see, we see when we come to this country, you follow, once you come to this country, you do it anyhow, you get anyhow. You have to change your mentality. You change. You follow the laws. This is how it is here. If there's no law in that, the, the, nobody's following law. If the government don't follow the law. The, the president don't follow the law. Who gonna follow the citizen? No. Who gonna arrest who? Who? We are just jokers. The so-called uh, leaders and elders. They will say respect the elders. Everybody, everybody will not respect them. Say you give out what you want. Respect who? No, I'm just really. I'm not. I'm just going to tell you. My my stomach is boiling a lot when I see story coming from Nigeria. I'm boiling. What I'm just looking forward. It's just judiciary stuff. Or be they, they say you know what? Be you won this election. That's it. Then you see me not talking like this no more. I will we'll be talking how going to make the want to move Nigeria forward. That's going to be talking online these days. But just now, now they're just talking about uh, the president doing president doing that. He's not doing nothing. Because not the president, people did not vote for him. Nigerians, the, the, the Nigerians did not vote for Tinubu. It was an INEC elect. INEC, INEC is so shameless; he cannot even come to court. He's hiding. If Nigeria court judiciary are, are, are functioning, they should send arrest warrant to this man to come to court. Straight period. You don't need to send a, a lawyer, a, a petitioner to go and deliver letters. Yeah, in this country, the court will write you. You get your letters. They will write you. You will come there. If you don't come there, they will send police to come and welcome you at home. But you say they don't have a. They don't. They cannot find a way to give a letter to uh, the, to to any uh, 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 chairman. The court have to do this. Do their job themselves. Not the, not the lawyers have to do it. Not. I don't know how Nigeria. I don't know how Nigeria function. Nigeria is so backward. Really, Nigeria is so backward. The system is so backward. What other countries are going digital? 
sometimes I'm ashamed. We have analog leaders. Analog, their brain is analog. When other countries are going digital, when the president are not going digital, they have to employ people who are, who are going digital, but they are employing a bunch of rogue and criminals. And so these are somebody's fathers, grandfather, husband. Then you come in, you come here and tell me to respect others. What we'll better your generation? Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, um, Mr. Henry Gabriel. Thank you. Before I will move on to the others, guys. Uh, like I told you uh guys the other day we are taking live updates on what is happening in court on our platform again we started it last week uh friday so uh tomorrow uh court as you all know court adjourned to two o'clock so we are going to be here by exactly two between two or three exactly to take the live update what is happening in court all right so join us um because the pool the time to afternoon so there's every possibility we are not going to have a 6 p.m broadcast what i mean by that is that the 2 p.m broadcast is going to go all the way you know to 6 p.m which it will be a continuous broadcast if you guys get what i mean so even though we've done six hours we start again we continue to make it up but for me to cut it off and uh, just start straight away it might not happen that can only happen when we have court case. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the tribunal starts in the morning. But if it's in the afternoon or evening like this, it's going to certainly affect our evening, but we are still going to be here. It's still the same thing. So endeavor to join us tomorrow uh, by 2 p.m. We are going to be here to give you live updates on what is happening in court. Uh, glory to God, Niger Watch. We have our people inside the court who is giving us the life of the we passed it on the other day here you know we can never ever ever deceive you i personally i can never deceive my followers my audience or i can never deceive nigerians i say it how it is and i show you where it's coming from god bless every one of you i'd like to quickly quickly appreciate amazing grace usa thank you very much for it super chat may god bless you thanks for the Okay, let me read your text. He said, Happy Father's Day to you, Mr. Niger Wash, and super happy Father's Day to you, the responsible dads out there. Yes, that's why I talk him. Any good dad out there, happy Father's Day to you. We get some papa, we're not responsible. So that's what they say. Yes, thank you very much once again, Dr. Alexander Gomez. Thank you very much, sir, for the um happy Father's Day wishes, and thanks to the super chat attached to it as well. Yes, you said happy Father's Day. Elvis, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Flashback. Thank you. He said, happy Father's Day, Mr. Elvis, and all the fathers in the house. God bless you. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you, my people. I appreciate every one of you that is supporting us, that is encouraging us to do more for you. Thank you. Please like and share. It's our guest CM is the next person to talk to us right now. Please, everybody, continue to press on the like button and let's do this together. Yes, uh, if you want to join the panel, the link is there. I'll post it again. You can. Um, somebody is asking for our account number. Yes, uh, let me put it on the screen as I call on Augustium. That is it there on the screen. Yeah, that is it there on the screen. Yes, uh, I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Osagede. God bless you. Thank you for asking for that. It's right there. Uh, anybody that want to support us, uh, wish us happy Father's Day through here or through Super Chat or through paper. I'm going to post the paper account right there on the comment section as well shortly once Augustine starts talking to us. Thank you very much, my people. Now, God, now God bless you. Now, Augustine, please unmute yourself and talk to us. Sir. Good evening to you and happy Father's Day to you. <clears throat> Thank you. Good evening, Niger Watch. Happy Father's Day to each and every one of us, wherever you may be, those listening, today is a special day for the Father, so it's worth uh, celebrating and worth reflecting on as we battle our way through the court to get our mandate. So there are a lot, there are a lot of thoughts going on through our minds today. So coming to the video you should, let me start with uh, the first one by Barrister Laleko. In fact, have watched that video. The chap stays in, lives in, think in Maryland, in the U.S. 
he was trying to the video the what he was saying there was more of a reminder that our yoruba brothers that they had better tell uh, that obas of a man that the law he's trying to propose or they're trying to pass at the legal status of assembly he saw it should be of no effect because it can never supersede the constitution at the federal level which empowers every nigerian to live in any part of nigeria by living in any part of nigeria you can carry out your activity either you are working or you are engaged in public or private sector and then own properties too if you want to i mean people own properties all are up and down the country so trying to come and say you want to do something to favor insofar as he runs a counter to the provisions of the constitution it won't stand it's ultra virus the way lawyers say it and this of no effect is inconsequential so if they know all this why waste the energy why waste your resources time energy and money to engage in frivolity and moreover by doing so you are drawing bad blood you're only trying to test maybe those you those tag the law because if every law there are people is targeting let's dr get Ken, please so turn on you, your camera to let you in Go ahead, if you it. if you if you make a law for over speeding maybe for put camera here okay. there are people you are targeting you know there are people that you know they speed so much and then you make a law that for every car that we leave a country they have to declare the engine number somewhere and somewhere you are targeting those that are stealing cars from your country and taking it out so every law has a is target otherwise there's no point making it so wherever i don't want to sound uh, so parochial or maybe so whatever but the chap made the case so and he's yoruba he is appealing to them in fact he even one tinubu that the game they are playing is not on the other hand i hope it won't get to that when he said Indeed, we have fought a civil war and survived it. I will only take the lesson that uh, you know they've been supposed to suffer, um, you know, something like that, and they are willing to, you know, to carry on and learn the lessons. But not that uh, we brag with it that okay, we survived it. Therefore, any war come again, we will survive. No war is not even even in America after winning the war, they won't wish another one to come. Even Israel, you know, you can't defeat them. It's in the Bible, but. They will go for peace. They wouldn't like war. Even Israeli, they don't want war. So war is not a good thing. I don't want it. Just that to appeal to common sense. They shouldn't do it. But the aspect they are forgetting about that law is this. You know, sometimes in attempt to uh, maybe to cut your nose, you never know you are spiting your face or something. Today, if you ask anybody, if you say, oh, Lagos is this, they say, oh, no, 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 no. Lagos is the third or sixth the largest, the way California is number six in the world and the biggest in America. So they will tell you, Lagos is the biggest in Africa, maybe Johannesburg, we compete with Johannesburg or Cairo. In fact, we are this. That's true. Now, what makes Lagos that? Well, this is a simple analysis. They say it's internally generated revenue. From where? That is what you ask yourself. It could be people selling akara. Okay. I don't want to. Or people selling tomato. You are collecting revenue. Or the oil companies that are headquartered in Lagos, they pay tax there. If they overplay the hand and that person selling tomato decide to say, okay, this cobble cobble they are taking from me every month. It's like they've they's now getting their head is swelling up. I let me let me relocate. Let me just go to somewhere like <laughs> Abo in Delta State and be selling this thing. Then I pay the tax to the government of Delta State. Definitely, that cobble, even if it's only one person, one seller, you will feel it. Because after all, why do you? You want to be making money so that you can draw a budget. Now they will tell you the uh, Lego federal government is doing a rare, Sanwolu is doing his own. Where is the money? Is Sanwolu's personal money? Nothing. It's the money you get from people. The businesses that are there, that's why they say Lagos is the commercial capital of Nigeria. Commerce means buy and sell. And the spirit of buy and sell is profit. It's as simple as that. And you tax somebody based on profit. If I'm selling whatever, maybe a soup, chocolate, and there's nobody buying it, I will fold up. The moment people are buying it, I increase my sales. 
maybe the profit increases too. And then you come and say, I declare, this is what I'm selling. And you start collecting. And if we are many, you collect from two people. If we are 10 sellers, 1,000 sellers, 200,000 sellers, the more, the better. So the fact that they are doing it there does not mean. There are certain things that are immovable. There are things that are, but the ones that are movable are much. So Lagos State Government should go and sit down on meaningful people who claim to be indigenous and tell them, look, before it wasn't like that. Spain was a colonial power. The whole of the whole gold they mine from Chile. Chile is a very country rich in mineral. Argentina with their beef, Colombia. In fact, the whole of South America is Spanish, except Brazil. So all these countries, they pay homage to Spain. Spain was controlling. But today, hey, Spanish people go to Colombia to look for job. Things can change. Nothing. You see, you can sustain anything only if you put effort. Nothing is guaranteed for life. Even the life you are living is not guaranteed. It's the day you wake up, you thank your stars. So do not think that I'm, I'm healthy today. I should be healthy next tomorrow. It's a lie. You. If you do not, if you do, if you go and take poison, you can't be healthy. So everything, we have to work at it. But if they want to overplay their hand and then start to be, you know, this uh, unnecessary braggadocio, we do a law, challenge it, we have to do it. If you do something to punish people, people will get out. And then who are you? Who are you blaming? You are a landlord. Is how we show you. I will show you. I will increase the rent 500%. Uh, the person packs out. The house remains empty. Who are you blaming? So, you see, when people, when something like this, you know, in the feet of, uh, I don't know, animosity, somebody decides to take a decision, or try, maybe, or maybe they want to sort of brag. Hopefully that is what they want to do, but I believe they should learn from history. Nigeria is this thing. The people you are targeting, that's what they call unintended consequences. They may not, I don't think they've risen this way. Go and check the internally generated revenue. Where does it come from? It's from businesses around Lagos. This is exactly why, if some of us will take a, a clue, I mean, sort of, um, you know, a, um, sort of a review. There was a time when P2B started. I think he started by going to Los Angeles to meet people in the diaspora. I remember Omoye covered it for us. Omoye, Omoye's corner covered it. Madame Rita went to Toronto. I think when Peter B went there, then he came down to Houston, Atlanta, New York. I think did he go to Chicago? Then to he went to Rome, went to Germany, went to uh, London. When he came to London, somebody asked him about seaport. Peter B said, don't worry, I'm a trader. I know when I get in, we have to decongest Lagos. Other seaports should be functioning such that we make money more than Morocco. That's a fair thing to say. When you open Wari Seaport and it's working effectively, then you open the business from Wari up to Sapele and then Sapele to Benin. Along that axis, that is a linear. When you get to Benin, this is Abuja. You have to go through Ebuma, Auchi. Okay, then you are in Abuja. Because that is the federal capital. So dualize expressway. Then you take a rail to do it so that somebody in Abuja can easily say, I'm importing goods. I don't need to go to Lagos. I go through Wari because it's a direct route. Somebody in Adamawa will say, I want to export whatever I cultivated. You move from Adamawa to Taraba. From Taraba, get into Benue. From Benue, you are now on the way to Goja, down to Calabar. The seaport is working. So the same thing with Port Harcourt. So when he said this, Lagos will now be the financial capital. He said what London is to Europe in those days and what New York as a stock exchange. Johannesburg is to South Africa. Peter B said all these things. This is our plan because he wants to do everywhere such that Nigeria will just explode. The what you cultivate in the middle belt, you need to, you are not cultivating to feed Nigeria. Otherwise, we are just we are just that subsistence. He want to say the real crude oil of Nigeria is the vast uncultivated. He said uncultivated, not the vast. Like he said vast uncultivated. In other words, they have to do something about it. California in America, they say it's farming and high tech. A whole United States is farming. So why can't Nigeria be like that? 
So that is what people be planning. But some people, they are bad boys who are so parochial. They say, ah, if we carry Lagos sport, can you carry seaport? You can carry. You're only trying to open it there. I have a friend from, uh, is it, uh, Akan, um, what is it called, Udukwani, next local government to Calabar, from Manchester, bought a car to, for, for his father. Have to go and clear it in Lagos. Can you imagine somebody living maybe 20 or 50 miles from Calabar? Udukwani said he said he, the father had to go and lodge in a hotel four days before they cleared everything and they borrowed the driver because an old man, a retired school principal, just to be using in the village. I've said it once here or twice. He has to go and they bring a young man, all of them lodged in the in a hotel in a papa area of Lagos. Pay the thing, stay there until they clear the car, they start going home. <clears throat> Is that fair? It's not. So when Obi said this thing, that is what all this uh, animosity that people are now starting to tag him, he will do this, we destroy. He's going to build the economy. Somebody in Liverpool cannot be importing goods into UK. You tell him to go to Southampton. It's not done. Even Scotland, Aberdeen and uh, Dundee, it's everywhere. Lagos, Nigeria should have like that. That's what Peter B is planning. And look at the law, Lagos State is passing. That is retrogressive. You think you are punishing indeed or something. You are wasting your time. So I think uh, Barista Lalekos put it uh, <coughs> in fact he said it better because he's, the way he spoke to them they should go and think. You don't do such. What you do is that you even attract investment. That is the essence. Meanwhile Chinese are in Lagos so buying over Lake. Nobody is telling them to leave. Lebanese that Tinubu brought are buying. Those ones are not even Nigerians. And you don't know the terms. Nobody is telling them to leave. But you are saying, fellow countrymen and women, you are targeting them to do. Are you going to do a, Are you going to pass a law that we make a Chinese who bought a land, maybe um, uh, and build like uh, they said, the rental hotel is not owned by Tinubu, and then you now make it that the sea of all of that you reverse it? Do you think the China will, will they will keep quiet? They won't. So when they are doing certain things, people should you know tarry a while, take a stock and review. Somebody, in my own understanding, or the way I summarize it is that don't play God. The moment you start playing God, God will be against you. God is the Almighty. Don't use your fellow human being, say you can deal with him. No, 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 you don't do that. If you want to do it, another door will open. And when another door opens, that your own, there are empires come and go. There used to be British Empire. Before then, there, were, there was Roman Empire. Before Roman, there was Ottoman Empire. Even before then, uh, Iraq, where it was either Babylon, where the, this thing, the hanging garden of Babylon, look at what they did in those days. Today, where are they? Countries like Japan have overtaken them, that we aren't an empire. Um, uh, South Korea got the same thing. South Korea got their independence the same year with Ghana. The South Korea has hosted the Olympics, hosted World Cup with Japan, and they built, built the uh, Dawu Racer and the, all the Samsung we are seeing. So, People should always look forward and not think of what you achieved. What, say, say whatever a man achieves is the starting point. So you might be aiming the moment you get Dr. This, so if they feel that yes, please. Yes, please. Who is who is yes? Hello. Hello? Okay. So you might be aiming the moment you get Hello? So if they... Yeah. Is it my turn now? No, uh, somebody called. I don't, I don't want this person want to talk to me. So please let me quickly. So what I'm trying to say is that if the yeah. people that feel that the people feel that Lagos is the commercial destiny, think of how Lagos will exceed Sao Paulo, the largest city in the southern hemisphere in Brazil. Think of how Lagos will maybe even expand from Lagos into Ogun State, and they all so it becomes one one state even. That's what we'll be thinking. Opening up, tell people come. Come and take this area. And even rather than feeling that you want to shrink it, and then you can shrink Lagos. The properties in London are not really owned by the English. A greater percentage is owned by the Arabs. They brought in their money, bought everywhere, and then the economy is booming. Look at what London is suffering since Brexit or UK. Anyway, enough said on that. So that's it. So the little I want to talk to put out is saying, Akio Shuntoku's uh, observation, you know, that is the thing we are saying. I think Niger Watch said it better. Our, our media people, when you look at them, you start to say, ah, these people really literate. Did they go to school? What are college they are they giving? <laughs> you know, we abuse one. You say, under two weeks or one week, ah, is it getting a college? 
What is this accolade? If you notice now, maybe Niger watch, you may not have noticed it. Those people that we are campaigning for Agbado, they are all over the... I thought election has gone. They claim they've won. They've been sworn in. Now let them allow us rest. All they keep doing in different platforms, somebody sent me is that they go there and be telling you Tinibu is a strategy. What a, we leave us now, let us, you've put him there and they're still campaigning for him again. I don't know whether you've campaigned and you got what he, you wanted him to do. Hey, then go home and uh, let the man perform. They're still going around to telling you, oh, this is calling like what the journalist is saying, he's collecting our college under two weeks on less than a month. What if he stays there six months? He will now be number one in the world. You see, our media, they are really not helping matters. I don't know. They feel that the, the moment Niger Nigeria Educational University in Nigeria exploded from the old 13 universities to 20 something, 50 something, 60 something, over 100. Yes, it is true that the quality might not be what it used to be, or there's no job. But anybody who must have passed there with mobile phone, there are certain things you can lie. Because news now is on your palm. You just put in your, then you, you stop. People will share it. What accolade is coming to Agbado? Because Astare Dokobo, a, a criminal from the Niger Delta, when they, you know, they did paddy paddy, just to go and talk to each other, you know, all those types. Is that the accolade that is coming? Who is going there? Maybe we, we can go the, went the other day and, and came out. Is that the accolade we are talking about? Who look at the caliber of people visiting Agbado and he doesn't even now I understand though, allegedly anyway, that he went to France, whether to go and check uh, one type of uh, I don't know, the steroids, maybe to inject more steroids so that he can he wouldn't uh, be vibrating. So people should stop all this. Nigerians, especially the journalists. The essence of journalism is to inform. In fact, journalism, according to Ray Ebu, said is to give government headache or something like that. You do not, what you want is bring the news. You know, you are, now you are even a mouthpiece. It's a shame that this is happening on our rise news. Anyway, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a Rufa is saying it. Can you be talking of our colleague? Of what? You remove first subsidy and later you said uh, you didn't, you met it like that. You had in denial, like uh, Oshun Tokun said. You come out, is that what is accolade about to what? What is it? They've started again. This, to talk now, if it, to, to, just to confuse people. Please, I thank Aki Oshun Tokun for handling that uh, thing very well. But only that Nigerian, our Nigerian journalists, they, don't, they are devoid of shame. They will use a straight face and be asking questions that. Sometimes if some, some questions they ask reflects very poorly on their training. This no, you don't expect that. A colleague from where say I could call it here. He's doing well. Some will tell you now, ah, but don't build Abuja. That is the next thing that will happen when he say I build Abuja. So enough said on that. Then uh, let me now say this senator, B Senator Buka Chua, I think from Bauchi or Gombe State. You see, this is what we now say. The man. God entered into him, he confessed. That blessing that will come to him with that confession, he's not trying to reverse it, only to come and tell us that he didn't say. What is you didn't say? When you are your voice, you could be seen when you are standing, saying everything. In fact, only based on that, are you going to tell Olisa Olis Abakoba that you didn't say? Because after that, Olisa said, look at, I lost about three cases. Through um, before that, uh, the man's wife, and these are political cases as the cut of appeal because of what something like this. So tomorrow, you now tell Barristol Lisabakoba SAN that, eh, in fact, it will be interesting to know what Lisabakoba will say. If I'm a, a journalist, I will invite him again for interview. Say, look, look at the way you are complaining, look at what happened, and I see, I know how it's going to. It will, I mean, everybody will be in shock, and this is a typical Nigerian journalism practice. Instead of you to help and educate the people, enlighten them, put the information the way it is, you are making excuses. Some people will tell you, hey, the man has issued a, a rejoin. Is it a, a, a debunk it or a rejoinder that he never said that? He never said what? Or some will even tell you that ah, the man's voice was uh, the man's voice was programmed. You know, he stood up. They just wanted to say it. So, but all these things is there. So in all in all in all this nonsense, please, God, is a plea on today that is Father's Day. My prayer, my plea is this: 
God, please, let this tribunal, let them hurry up. Let them hurry up. The moment they announce Peter will be as the winner, there's nothing like a real run. I bet you, at least one, one day, at least one day longer in the life of every Nigerian. Even those that are in hospital sickbed, when they hear it, they will have a renewed hope. Because this is like, this, this election of 25th February is, is an election like no other. Everybody invested a lot of mileage in it. Not money, but hope. And people felt that, yes, now we want to start to turn the page. And they did. And God answered their prayers. But for people that feel that uh, they are God, like Mohammed have to go and tell the Americans, we switched it off, imagine. These are the opinion of Nigerians. You are switching off. And they start to use TPEX in the middle of the night to be changing results. If any, look like what the one we watched, something that should be a thousand, you reduce it to 84. Imagine tomorrow they will tell you Tinubu won landslide or he won everywhere or the election is free. That's why people will be won in, uh, in, in Lagos and the Tinubu couldn't win in Kasena. You know, all those nonsense. Please, let us, we've, we've come of age. Nigeria, Tanzania is ahead of Nigeria. Kenya is ahead of Nigeria. We are still seeing train as achievement. Kenya has been doing it almost from coast to coast. South Africa, go and see the type of train there. Look at Oliver Tambo Airport. There are certain things. You can't compare it with our Mutala Airport. You can't. Go to Namibia Windhoeks. Look at their airport. Ghana in West Africa. The world has left us behind. People are still shouting. Egypt is left Cairo, the coastal place. They went into a desert to design that is a desert, a new Cairo. They are planting trees there that it will not be like a forest. In a desert. The train, underground sewage, that is what they are putting in that uh, new Cairo. Everything it says should be a smart city. They live in the education, the university that will be the every Go and look at the drawing. Look at where they are. In other words, where I do, what they are trying to tell us is that they have assured of 24-hour power, our electricity. And look at Nigeria. We are still struggling whether one local government in Ondo, if they generate electricity, let them put it to national grid so that another local government in Plateau will see it. Is that, is that what we should be talking? We are still seeing ourselves as if we are in perpetual war. Nobody is fighting with each other. Let people to be condemned, Nigeria will explode. It's like we are in chains. Show Nigeria what you can do. Do what you can do with your lap laptop. They call you Yahoo. Use it and tell us. Use it to program traffic such that somebody in Lagos will tell you if you are traveling from Lagos to Abiokuta, this are this are this. We are the checkpoint. You see it on your mouth. We can do it. The other day, an Igbo man, Igbo chap in Anambra State, because the cost of petrol has gone over the roof, they felt that running a generator on petrol it's so expensive. If you buy 25 liter, it may not last you two days. But Inam brought a cylinder, medium cylinder gas. I don't know how he, how he did it. Connected it to the thing that has been bought and then given light. And that thing can last for over a week or two. Yet the cost of it is a fraction of the petrol. This is what they call necessity is the model of invention. Such people are the people you said, this gas, can, why can't we go to Goniland where they are flaring gas? And they start to do it like this and use it and they use it, do it like a plant or a station, you know, Goni, using only gas to generate electricity only for the Niger Delta area. That should be okay so that you remove them from the grid. Use coal in Enugu, let it go to Middle Belt or Middle Belt and down to Enugu and Ambra. Then use water, hydro in Lagos because it's under this, it's in the Atlantic like Brazil. That's what they use in Rio de Janeiro. If you look at the map, this is Lagos, this is Rio. They are looking there, it's like they sit opposite. There are things Nigeria can do. Sokoto, you put solar. It's only when P2B comes. And then what we are trying to do is to stop this man. Okay, you have uh, done, you are running too fast. Let us stop you. Who are, who, in, in whose interest? Wait, the rest of Africa is leaving us and flying away. Aeroplane is like everywhere. In, look, go to Cairo. You would, you would think that you are in, you think that you are in Europe. Go to Tunisia, uh, Tunis. Go to um, um, Rabat in Morocco, even Algiers, Libya before the war. You don't compare. Those ones are like abroad. Yet Nigeria will still be talking of, uh, uh, we get, we get light 
Okoko area didn't get light, why Sulere is having light? Is that what, what sort of what sort of meant? Is that where we are talking going to be talking? That if you take a Nigerian child out of Okoko and, and bring him to Minnesota and United States, you will see a different human being. So please, all this uh, animosity that we carried over from 1950s and 60s, it should stop. By now, Nigeria should be talking of show us what you can do. We don't care if that chap that we able to use the cylinder of gas to run to run a generator and this lasting for years, get him close. Say, well, how did you do it? So we can easily leave petrol and then be using gas. So instead of putting it in generator, can't we do it a machinery that tell you nothing, reconstruct something that we can be using it there? You can lay this. There are a lot of things, uh, potentials we could do. Why we Nigerians can develop themselves, but because of this primordial sentiment, you want to hold somebody down. Uh, you are running too much. Let us hold down. Let us be doing this. Uh, instead of building rail to from uh, Onisha to Benin, to Abo, through Abo to Benin, down to Akure Ondore, you won't do it. It's because it will go to the east. Instead, you go and build the one going to Maradi, or in whose interest? Just to punish some people. Uh, let them wait there. See all these things. So please, Peter, this should come in because when he comes in, Nigeria will be out of chain. So anybody can now be free to bring in your idea. Within a year or two or three, Nigeria will explode. Everywhere opportunities will be everywhere. People will now be free to use their brain and think. And not everything you are controlled, everything control. You can't do this. Let after 50 years or 40 years, they will say you can now generate. You can now have partial police, uh, state police. Next time they say, no, 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 no. Nobody can build the, uh, what is it called? You can't do this. You have to apply for federal government. Why is it that federal government is controlling airport? Is it done anywhere? Airport should be a case of, if, if it can be consulting. So when after building airport, you have to look for federal approval. Federal government have approved this as international airport. This one, for what? Every airport, including Asaba, should be international as long as you can get flight. Just maintain the standard as long as every it should be expl expl let Nigeria explode with development everywhere than chaining people together. You have to seek for federal. When you now go there, they look at your face. No, these are the people that killed uh, uh, somebody in 1966. That area, we don't want it. Okay, this area, they didn't vote for us. Imagine the vote. All these things. Why are we living in primordial sentiments? Do, do people care? Go abroad and see, go, Af go to Africa and see the way things are ha happening. And we are still, Djibouti, a small country, is having a big seaport. Ethiopia, despite the word, this Ababa is better than Abuja and Lagos in terms of functionality. It's better because you can see the two, electricity is there, the uh, public transport system is working, not choked up. Yet in Nigeria, we are still talking about how to hold these people down and make sure that we do it this way. We have to have a coalition. You have to negotiate for power. If you didn't do it, uh, 2027, start okay. now. What, what you will be talking of say, sentiments when the, the youths are exploding? Okay. Our youths will go abroad and become champions. Niger Watch, thank you. I wish I have, I have, I have another opportunity. It's talking about Nigeria yeah. without P2, with this people will be but one I day. But I give you lots of time. <laughs> Lots it's true. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Because thank you. Thank you. Please. Sense, we're well. So we have to it's let you through now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigeria. Normally, Nigeria is just stressful. Ah, God. Too much. Somebody talking. To Can you, you be holding back? Can you be holding holding people behind? Let people explode. Let let development every corner. Nigerians have idea. Agriculture, everything, not everything federal want to control. We could control this. Uh, the VC of this university must come from this area. For what? Uh, the, this man and somebody, that area. Somebody, uh, um, talk, uh, I was talking to somebody this afternoon. You know, I was just, he's, he's a Yoruba person. You know, he's my friend. I will tell you, I called him, he's in, he's in Lagos. You know, although he's not supporting Mr. Peter Obi, he's telling me that he's not supporting anybody. You know, we argue over this, you know, uh, in Nigeria and all that. But to cut every, everything short, I was talking to him this evening, not this afternoon, this evening before I came on air. And I said, ah, congratulations. So they said, I don't get permanent light and everything. Kai, he said, where is the light? Where? <laughs> where? I said, you, they asked me. 
He said, Where the light is? I beg, I beg. Now, can't do I go by? So, can't do now. Go by. So, he said before, if light not day like this, my brother will go on Jane. Now, we don't even have the money to buy uh, petrol anymore for Jane. Petrol. So, he said, I can't do I go by. Well, this, I'm telling you what my friend, my friend I, told me imagine. This, this evening before I came on yeah. here. He said, I can't do I go by. I can't do is not like a gold now. He said, For Lagos, not gold. He said, It's expensive ah. now. You know, now I said, Now me can tell and say, you know, uh, do you want me to come to Nigeria? He said, not try him or not call Nigeria this time. Or. Then I'm not asking. I said, you see, we that have second option. When we are fighting for you people, Una, we get only one option. Una, I'll say, wait till we they talk, no make sense. Look at me now, I have second option. I'm in my second home now. I'm enjoying myself. Whenever I suffer, when I suffer, I finish for that side, everything not good. I feel suicide, they come. You no get second option. When I'll say hey, no matter, I make gonna leave him. He go work. All I, I don't want to vote. I don't want to do this. Listen, guys. Sometimes so, I look I at God, say God home. did. God go do one. Exactly. Mm. Eh? Mm. Look now. You day inside darkness as we they speak now. The people light the other day say light. They, they say the light when they say day that day. Now let's seven days they take give them more. My security man now don't tell me now say sir. He said, light, you know, day again for the past five days. You see? Uh, uh, now, so watch, please. Paper my, paper my, they my, give my, now, so, now, so don't take my, the watch. now. <laughs> now, just watch, please. Because we're educating people here, you will look to that uh, new Cairo. You go look for the YouTube. New Cairo. Come and show that people wish. These are in a desert. They are channeling water from the Mediterranean. Yeah, but I talk Channeling about water. Uh, uh, Marco Ro, well, I talk about similar to yesterday. I don't forget the name again. Moko, Mokolo or something. Makolo. You know, somebody remind me of the name where I talked yesterday where they distilled that on, on top of the sea. Marco. Okay. Marco. 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 Yes, Marco. <laughs> you see the way people, they suffer. No, they suffer. The water. People, they suffer for dead. The river there and a black. You know, river ah, never you exactly. go look... look now black, you go think say they pour engine oil inside. Now, sh now they hand, now they now. Now, what go inside they Lagos? They Wait in the build though. Inside they Lagos, they don't sit for inside the water. Don't sit swim for inside the water. Don't sit take they the they water. Take ah, <laughs> our people are suffering. That is Lagos for you. Not in the build now. <laughs> our people are suffering, man. <laughs> We can't continue like this. When we 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 so, get a second option, go they talk. Don't say what are you saying? What are you saying? Eh? Make I tell you, if now that country get that kind, that that uh, legal so if now Europe get that, that place could be like a tourist center. Uh -uh. Too, Too much they, now. But, I'm uh, talking about the, the same Lagos where people they say hey, is the best is the best. So <laughs> how can you go to Lekki or say Lagos is the best? How can uh, you go to Iko? You say Lagos is the best. And you need to be rich to be so able to afford, afford Lekki. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs for you to live in Lekki or Iko? If it's the lucky self rainfall, it's not well, go out again. If re, if re, if rainfall for lucky with your limousine, it could become a flying boat. I <laughs> say, Jesus, you know, Jesus Christ. If rainfall, that rainfall won't at all. So just forget. If rainfall, I felt play one video where I record for lucky with rainfall now. Eh? I said, make I come up for house. As I see the rain. You know, I can't go drop my car, go carry SUV. SUV. I record them. I can't record you. I wish I still get that video. I don't want to show now. Maybe before person go finish now, I might bring the video call. I show now. Let me call on the next person to talk to us. Let me call on uh, uh, Mother Patricia. Are you there with us? Uh, uh, Mother Patricia? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for your patience. Before you, let me appreciate Amaka Fojobi. Thank you very much, man, for your continuous support. Thanks for the happy Father's Day wishes. I really do appreciate this. And God, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, press on the like button, help us to share. Let me get that video for you guys, you know. And uh, before Mother Patricia finish talking, I'll bring you right here. Mother Patricia, please talk to us. Okay, thank you. Happy Father's Day. We are saying we love you. God be with you to all the Father. 
We are saying happy Father's Day. <laughs> That's to you, fathers in the house. Congratulations and a big, a big congratulation. Happy Father's Day to you. We love you. We appreciate you. And God, may God keep you both well for us, sound and prospering in Jesus' name. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. And also, let me also talk to our family, Niger Watch family that are participating on this comment session. And those that are viewing us, kindly press on the like button, support us, and share so that this broadcast can go viral and uh, so that people that we need to talk to would hear us because our voice needs to be heard and uh, we are not here we are not joking we need all of us i believe all of us have a common passion and desire to see a new nigeria that's why we are here so do the needful help us share like and also support mr Elvis because it's not so easy for him to come out every day you know, and also all we, the panelists, to help uh, synthesize us and also educate every one of us. So please, let's show some appreciation, especially today, you know, let's do it. If you have not done it before, dare to do it. The Lord will bless you for it. Thank you. Yes, I don't know whether there is any much to say now since Mr. Seaham has come to, <laughs> to, you know, to pour out his uh, his uh, contemplation when it comes to Nigeria, Nigeria problem and issues. Everything he said is is something that yes, I can say is correct, hundred percent right in all that he has said. So I'm not going to be talking too much. I I just want to look at the same one he, he started with the barrister Olaleku. You know who was uh, pointing out the danger of uh, of uh, the actions of this uh, APC satanic evil people right from the beginning when they started the campaign uh, saying that uh, power is not serve a la carte you know and um, the fact that that went on nobody stopped him nobody stopped them at that time it gave them more, you know, you know, it's like uh, the, the principle or the policy of uh, gradualism. You know, when people want to do evil, they start with, with a, a step. And if nobody stopped them at that time, they go on, take another step. And that's what we've seen. They progress. It has grown wings and uh, feathers and everything. And so now they are flying. So you can imagine... Um, that when nobody stopped them during that time of uh, powers not start serve a la carte, you have to snatch it, you know, grab it and run with it. What next do we hear? MC Oluomo, uh, Mama Shukudi must not come out to, to vote. And on the day of the election, we saw it in all the, in, in everywhere in Lagos. This is my APC area. If you not say, you know, they can't vote for APC, not vote. Oh. I go check ammo. When you don't vote, I go check what you vote. If not the APC, you vote. You are in trouble. This was the 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 kind of you know to, tormenting languages we heard from people. These thugs in Lagos on that day, and all all said all what they've done or everything being done. Finally. We know where we are at the moment. The case is in court and the judiciary should do the needful. They have to do the needful because uh, the ball is right on their court now. We've seen everything that is going, it looks good and uh, that they are taking their time to make a, 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 an informed decision. But at the same time, they must make sure they don't set Nigeria ablaze because um, <laughs> things turn around. We can see we all these all these are the signs of uh, like this uh, Bokachova Boca, Boca is a sign of uh, 
the, the decay, decay, decadence of the system, where you will see an old man like him over 80 years said something openly in a national television. Even a two years child would have seen and heard him. And yet he's telling us now that he, he didn't say so. And then the news, the, 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 the uh, lay media, they are no more, <laughs> they are no more, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the so-called, I would call the dead media, you know, because they are dead. The people you expect to feed you with the right, the, the people that are supposed to be the opposition to the, to the, to, to the wickedness, to the injustice, to the impunity in the land, they have taken side with these evil people to suppress, you know, and oppress those that they were supposed to be protecting. I think they say that journalism is the fourth arm of governance. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be very, very vital in any society because they are supposed to be challenging the wrong in the society. They are supposed to be exposing it, but that's not what we are seeing. Rather, they are in court in oppressing Nigerians and subjugating Nigerians to believe a lie. How can this man be saying that it's an alleged, it's an alleged, alleged that the, the, the allegation, the, 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 the so-called uh, confession the man made was being said to be alleged. What is to be alleged? It means that it's something we are not sure of. Maybe he said it, maybe he, does, he didn't say it until we prove it. But this has a proof already. How can you prove what is already proven? It's already proven. He, so he, 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 even if he's trying to run away from it, he cannot run away from it now. He cannot run away from it. He said it. That he has encroached in his wife's decision when she was the prime uh, 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 president of appeal court. Everybody heard him loud and clear. And then the chairman of the Senate was telling him to, to keep quiet. He's going too far. But he was so angered, angry, that he went on. That he has helped most of them there. And had that he planned to destroy APC in Bono State. He said it. And he, he said he succeeded in doing it. So how can he now come to tell us that he didn't, he didn't say so? He didn't say so. I mean, I mean... Uh, that just show you the level of the um, corruption that we have in Nigeria. Where some people think that they own Nigeria more than others. Because I believe if this was said by somebody from the south, you know, or south southeast, by now, they should have been behind bars. They should have been. And I, I want to also let us know that what we are seeing with Lagos and what we are seeing with this northern uh, 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 Kabaz, what is going on is in line with what uh, the, what they call it, Arufai, the confession of Arufai, when he was commending the so-called uh, uh, Muslim uh, uh, imams for helping, the, helping him, helping them to win the election over there, their contribution in rigging and whatever they did, the election. So he said in that confession too that they have decided to, the North and the Southwest have decided to work together to work together, this north and the southwest. So, and that in four years' time, the Igbos will not be significant anymore in the south, uh, in the southwest. That if that they have a plan that they put down, you know, that if the land rent for a Yoruba person having the land is five thousand, for a northerner will be ten thousand, for an Igbo man will be one million. So that is the land rent to land rent yearly. 
So imagine if you have a house and you are Igbo in the north southwest, and every year you have to cough out one million to pay for land rents. How long do you think you will have your house before they repossess it? Because you can, uh, you will come to a point you cannot pay one million anymore. So which means automatically, when you cannot pay that one million, your house is gone. So my can say to you, I know that we are saying, oh yes, uh, it's unconstitution unconstitutional. They cannot do this. They cannot do that. Let me tell you, don't be deceived. I'm telling you, don't be deceived. These people, they are ready to do and undo because they have already started it. If you have a place in Lagos, you better start making plans to sell it. Take your money elsewhere. That is my counsel to you. It's up to you whether you want to take it or you don't want to take it. Because we said uh, Tinubu, they will not. Be, they said they will not be sworn in. It will not be sworn in. So constitutional is there? Is there? And this law that we are talking now, this uh, uh, what they call it, this uh, uh, um, Yoruba law that the, the so-called uh, uh, the Senate. The one in uh, the House of Assembly, the one that came out to say they are going to retrieve or uh, uh, repossess, they are going to re repossess the lands or whatever they saw before. They're going to bring it back to, to their ownership, to, to the ownership of Yoruba land, Yoruba people, instead of the Igbos or all the other person that bought it. When he said they're going to make that law, nobody has come to challenge it. Have you heard Wale Shonika say anything? Have you heard the only of Ife say anything? Have you heard the Oba of Lagos say anything? None of them have said. Even Tinubu himself has he said anything? No. That tells you that that is the direction they are going. Whether you like to accept it, don't you like to accept it? That is not where, what I'm here for. But I'm telling you that this is the direction. And if you are a wise person, start to make plans of how you want to take your thing out of that place. Take it off. And let them have their Lagos. Since they say that is what they want, let it be. Lagos is not the only place. We have other places. Put yourself together and decide to, you know, build other cities. There are many, many other places that will need you. So that is my take on that. Because they are not relenting. Nobody has come to challenge them. So you have to do something about that. Is that okay, Mr. Evans? Should I go on or no? no okay, yes. If you, I thought you are done. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry, the Google. I want to let you know that I have found out of that guy. He's not a full a job person. Okay. He's not. He's half fulani and half a job. Because if you if you if you notice yesterday when he was talking uh, in that fake interview that they said they they they, they concocted the fake interview that you didn't see who was interviewing him, you know, is that how to do interview? I don't know. That's not that's not what the standard I know when you are interviewing somebody. He claimed he was in Asso Rock, people was whispering on the on the background, and then he was pretending to answer. If you remember, he said that he and his men. We're fighting in the in Bonu, in uh, uh, Jigawa, and uh, in uh, Kadun Kano Road. That it is them that has made that road safe for people to be able to be traveling free on that road now. If really he is not from there, how would he be the one to have known? the in and out of that place to go and be fighting and he was even boasting that then they did better than nigeria army that was his own very word yesterday so i went to find out i found out that it's not really a real you know, let me tell you one thing what they do is that they try to put on this face of okay he's a an a neither data man okay so that every like other people in other Niger data, when they hear a Niger data man, they will think, okay, yes, he's he's hundred percent, and you know, he's a job person. He's not. He's a Fulani. He was set there, was planted there by these Fulani people. His father is Fulani. His mother is a job. So it's a plan. It's a it's a game plan. 
to get other Ijo people to believe that, oh, this is our man and the... No! That's not. They have, they have the plan. They is father pregnant or get birth, married the wife, the mother, because of this agenda. That's the reason. And that's what is carrying out now. And we are seeing it clear with our two crow crow eyes. And uh, he's saying that uh, many heads will roll. Oh, my God. I want to tell him. He was saying, I was talking about the army, that the army and the navy, that the one stealing the oil, whatever, whatever. Okay, now the armies have come out. You didn't mention names. You only said many heads will roll. But I want to tell you, Asari Togumbo, if you are going to, uh, 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 if you're going to come out like that, and mention the army, you should be specific on which of them, which of, which names are you talking about? And be sincere to yourself. Don't just go and mention names of people that are your opposition that you want to get rid of. Don't do, don't just go and do that. Don't do, don't go and do that because if you didn't mention the names yesterday, which means these are winch aunts, you already have your target. That's my take. It's my opinion. It's my personal opinion. You already have people that you have in line to eliminate because they are your opposition. Otherwise, you could have named them yesterday when you were talking. So that yesterday we would have known the names that you were talking about. You said they are in Abuja. But you didn't mention any name. Now, the army came out today to challenge you and say, I mean... Who are you talking about? You better come with the names are you talking about? You cannot come out and tell you. Yes, is somebody talking to me? Yeah, it's me, Mr. Chicks. Um, yes. You see, <laughs> I don't know why you're defending the army and the uh, Dokubo. L listen, if the I'm army, if Nigeria is a sensible them. country, right? You cannot say that, especially against your army that defend your territories, right? And you, st you, they're coming to tell you, come out and name. Who is uh, uh, Asari for the yeah, army to I'm say? Not I'm not defending them. <laughs> I'm not defending them, but I'm saying that if he's coming out to tell, if he like he pro he he he, yeah, he, he did yesterday, uh, he said he was having a, a press talk, a uh, new a, a press talk to Nigerians exposing whatever, then he would have also mentioned, I'm not defending them. for No, not at all. But I believe that if you have the goals to have uh, say, mentioned the army, then you would have also have the goals to measure their names. That's my point. So let's get this. I'm not defending them. I'm not saying, oh, maybe they are, they are involved or they are not involved. No, but I'm saying that if you can say the army, I mean, we cannot generalize now, for Christ's sake. We can't generalize. We have to be specific. We have to call the names. If you say the army, 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 <laughs> the army is a big, it's a big uh, uh, entity, you know, institution. There are many, many people in the army. So let him give us the names. And now the army also have come out to say, give us the names, call the names. That's where I am. That's the point I'm looking at. That's where I am, I am drive, driving at. So you should come and give us the names. So judiciary, please, I'm not begging you because it is your duty to give justice you know to those that are that are that are oppressed they said the, the, the judiciary is the last is the hope of the common man so if you are truly the hope you better prove it thank you all right um thank you madam patricia the part where you said that um his father is a fuller name man please uh do you have fat for that or you were just assuming Madam Patricia, can you hear me? I I can hear you. I got Please. it from the side. I will let you. I will bring it. I will bring it. Okay, you got it from where? I will, I got it. I got information from the site. So okay, I will bring okay. it. Okay, then you would have used the word allegedly. Okay, so then say allegedly. Let me say allegedly then. Yeah, just say allegedly. You know, I think his father is from so -so play. That that's that means you are covered. You know, but I, yeah, me I, that I strongly doubt that. I strongly, strongly doubt that. 
I strongly do yeah. because if you look at his background, his background is pure uh, Ijo. He's that, that before. That's why. That's why I'm saying when you are not. I know he's a Muslim. He was born into a Christian family and became a Muslim. So that is the only connection that we will say. Okay, the North is going to be Muslim, predominantly Muslim, but he is a Muslim. He practices Islam, but. His father being Fulani, that one is a tall one. He's from a Christian home. Yeah. Okay. And another one again, uh, Madam Patricia, you said he should name the people that he's talking about, about the army, right? Yes. Yeah, he, Mr. Come he said the army. Army is a body. He doesn't <laughs> need names. Army. He accused all of them in general. He's not generalizing. Yeah, yeah, but that is what that's what the army people they are, the guy came out now that you should call the names. No, yeah, but they only just came out today to 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 say that, right? Yeah, but that was he, he mentioned it was yesterday he had the so-called uh, fake interview now. Well, it was not fake. That was that was also rocks, madam. It was not yeah, fake. I know, but what I mean when I mean fake, I mean that uh, we couldn't see who were interviewing him, whether it was Shannon, whether it was... Him. You don't need to see that. The press man oh. was not uh, important at that moment. They were asking him questions, you know? That was... It's even a conference, point. not interview. It's conference, so... It was yes. a... Uh, yeah, it's a conference, not an interview, press so... Conference. Press yeah. conference. So, you don't need yeah, to see the journalists. All of them are holding uh, cameras. We don't need them. So, okay. the, 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 the conference... Uh, uh, the press conference was real, 100% real, and that was also rock. You know, I recognize it. That was real. And in terms of uh, where it came from, allegedly I have been used to cover that. And in terms of uh, him mentioning names, you don't need to. He accused the body of uh, army. They should come out and explain to Nigerians they are not the one. Mr. Elvis. Yes, sir. Yeah, what I'm trying to say, right, we shouldn't beat ourselves over him mentioning the army because... In a real sense of thing, right? I grew up in the barracks, right? If you say this about the army, within minutes, you get arrested because you have to prove it. That is the decadence we are talking and, about Nigeria. They cannot dare. They cannot dare arrest him. They can't that, dare. that is the problem. That is the that's issue. And that's why, you know, somebody like me, I don't even go there talking about the army. Let them deal with themselves. My problem is him. You know, sitting under the seal. The, but this is one of the things I'm saying. If Nigeria is a country that works, allegations upon allegations cannot be flying like this, and nobody is being heard for questioning, for interrogation, for persecution or prosecution. None of them. We are just here talking, and the government are looking at us and laughing. The president is currently out of the country. You know, you see, this is the situation. We have a long way to go, though. Let me pick calls before I call on the next person. Hello, Mr. F.A. Thanks for calling in. Good evening to you, sir. Talk to us. Najawa, good evening. Good evening. I greet you, bros. Thank you very I much. I greet the panelists and the viewers. I greet everybody. Najawa, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, my brother. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Najawa, may God bless you. May God bless you. you may your sofa never go in vain, sir. Amen. You understand? Because you have been doing it. It's not only you, all of us. We have been in this struggle for a long time. Exactly. See, uh, uh, Nigeria, you know what I want to talk about this uh, Asari the Dukubo? Asari, I don't know why Ghana, eh? Una so, the old, the short Nigeria, if Nigeria, oh my God. Nigeria is supposed to don't know, say, Asari na person will be say, he did fight or he fell because he don't get money again now. Uh. You understand the bunkering where that they do all all eyes on that that bunkering where that they where that they do before now the thing don't date that night it's it, it not easier before so for people because outside they try to wear each your people name because now the both side are from come are from a those state are from I'm, I'm a Joshua. and this food tribe I'm not a tribalist person but I'm not a joke with them for outside to come out to cause for each your people name. I, I think that uh, that that one that Asari issue. I don't I don't just take her like anything because now now it's too much. Now he's the fight for. You understand me so? Okay, good. 
You see, as, as Ari come and I come talk about the, uh, our military soldiers, anyhow, why they don't people do anything? The person who has power, I be. Now, now person who has power, they control everything. They don't be do anything. You see, Nigeria and Nigeria, it's just like comedy country. I don't know how to describe Nigeria. Country where you say, you, you tip, I tip, you tip, I tip. Who want to talk? Nobody go talk. So now make all of us the, the support will be, and the people come. Either the devil like it or no, people will come. All those nonsense will stop. Exactly. So, more than not, more than not your reason, as a matter, as anything. As a if they, if they, if they, if they talk about you that the Kalu, that he said that the other day, no race, uh, and they are uh, flag. If that Nigeria is a country, all those journalists who are in Nigeria, all those uh, uh, Arise TV, uh, Channel TV, all of them, they don't see her. If they don't see her, now they come, they come and say, uh, 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 this, uh, 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 that one of the Kalu, they 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 call it won't cost war, it they cost violence, it they no he said waiting in 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 not their support because hungry don't they beat her now if they come out. That is that guy eh, not, not disgrace to each other. I sure not each other, Madam Patricia, may God bless you. I know say allegedly not be uh, as a uh, yes, no nobody does get the full information, but I'm not sure say that guy not really who is your person. I'm not sure. Now he said he wants disgrace, not be jobful. Because he's job people not they take no sense. Okay. When this election what we do so, all the old job for Nigeria now will be the, the support. Why you come and call the talk no sense? On green on, on green lion. Sir, may God bless you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. May God Thank bless you. you, Papa. Thank you, my brother. Thank, Thank you. All right. Um, okay, we're talking about the flaw that is affecting everyone in Lekki. The video I made. Uh, last time I was in Nigeria, well, that was last uh, sometime early last year. That was I think that was in April last year. So I've played it before here. I just wanted to re recap again for some of you to see how flawed they take everywhere, you know. Okay, but I have somebody that is calling in, right? Okay, yeah, the call. Okay, well, mother or mommy, you can call back after this video. Thank you very much. Let's see this video quickly. Nigeria is possible. Right. Um, hello, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Yes, this is Lagos. This is Lekki. And we are currently swimming. As you can see, we are swimming. I'm going to roll down, but I don't know if my phone is going to fall out. So let me roll down and show you guys what we are passing through here. You guys can see. through here just imagine just imagine I told I should record this so that I can use it on one of my broadcasts imagine everywhere is flooded right now in Ireland in Lagos everywhere is flooded in it. what we are currently going through here it's crazy it's crazy Never. 
As you all can see right there, that was lucky. I did that myself. This is not say they tell you, they tell me. I, I played this video before. Some of you can remember sometime last year. You know, I played it. So at this particular moment now, it's a rainy season. Trust me, it's a no-go area. You know, there are massive houses there. If I was, I, I, I didn't actually went there to record anyway. You know, I was going somewhere and I get to see that everywhere is blocked. So I was with a small car. I realized that the small car cannot, I, I, my car might have a problem. I have to go back home again to go get SUV to come back. You know, so I will say I spent time, say make I pass all the streets and see what everybody is passing through. Then you'll be surprised. So my people, trust me. <clears throat> if you are happy the way Nigeria is going now and you are against us, it's up to you. For me, I'm in the United Kingdom right now talking to you. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I don't have Nepal problem here. I don't have flooding problem here. You know, everything looks good. I don't have insecurity problem here. It's up you to you. You don't need to buy data. <clears throat> I don't buy data, exactly. I don't I don't pass through unnecessary stress, you know? So I'm sorry. Let's stand for what is right. Let me call on the next person to talk to us, which is um, uh, Mr... Um, Madam Busy Brace, before Mr. Shoots. Madam Busy Brace, thank you very much for your patience with us. Please talk to us. Good evening to you. Hello. Um, okay, sorry, from... sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, there's oh, somebody that I promised that I'm going to pick a call. She's on okay. Sorry. So no problem. Thank you so much for your understanding. Okay, Madam Maomi, uh, I, can, I, I totally forgot that I, I made that promise just now. So let me just call you back myself. You know, man, obvious. I, I I take on so many things. I don't remember. Good evening to you, madam. Sorry. Good evening, Mr. Niger Watch. Good Thank evening you. to all the panelists. I'm calling from UK. I'm among me. Thank you. Um, I feel so sad that um, it is my race, the Yorubas, that are doing all these things. I feel so bad. When I saw that Alaba market yesterday, that they were telling these Easterners, the, the Igbos, to go. Now, I believe they said we are one Nigeria. How does it work when the Igbos cannot rule the country? The Igbos cannot do business in Lagos. You want to resell land for them. I don't think this will work. Honestly, I feel very sad about it. I want to talk about Papa Wole Shuyinka. 
So with all these things, after Obi went, Obi went to see this man. And I believe Peter Obi would have explained the situation and he would have even shown him proofs. Exactly. That he won this election. This man came out again yesterday with the so much respect you have given this man in his entire lifetime. He's been on exile for how many years until he couldn't come to Nigeria before. It is this same man, these are our elders, what they are doing. They are the ones behind our problems in Nigeria. Somebody was on this platform some days ago and mentioned that ah, all the kings in Yoruba land, eh, eh, the Yorubas, they, they are not, they are even keeping quiet, they are not saying anything. For all I care, if I can tell you that this man called Agbadu has bought all the institutions. Before it is this Ifa divination that they pick kings in our land. Abado has bought it. It is him and the governors that pick kings for us, as bad as Yoruba land is. Now, my main concern is that uh, I saw one article allegedly, as you always say, uh, Niger Watch, and I feel so concerned, so much concerned. Somebody was speaking in Igbo about a uh, obese security. Please, it is on your platform. Go to it, check it. Uh, we need to talk to our principal about security, please. I was concerned. I just saw it a few minutes ago, and I sent it to you immediately I saw it. I'm concerned about his security. Please, we need to advise on something. Because Agbado can do and undo. In Lagos, Funcho Williams was killed and nothing came about it. It was Pai, sorry. Nothing came about it. A whole minister of justice in Nigeria was they pied him. Nothing came out of it. And everything came from this my Yorubaris. Honestly, I feel so sad. I feel so sad. I feel so sad that it is my race that is doing all this. But one thing I know is that many of us don't want Agbado. Many of us did not vote for him. A lot of Yorubas voted for Pio. I'm telling you. If you go back and check those figures in all the states, even in Oshun, in Pekiti, uh, 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 I think, in all these Yoruba lands that they said he won, he won, he won. A lot of people will be won in some of these Yoruba states, if I can tell you. But please, I'm so concerned about the security. We need to get involved, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mama. Now, uh, Mama, <sighs> me. God bless you. Thank you. That one, uh, uh, a Yoruba woman right there, saying it, I raise, you know. So, my people, um, let me just call on Madam Busy Brace once again. Please press on the like button and help us to share. If you know you never press that like button, help us to do that. Madam Busy Brace, you have the floor. Thank you. In compliments of the day, my um, fellow Nigerians and obedience, Mr. Niger Watch, I do hear you. My fellow panelists and all those watching and on the panel section, all protocols observed. Um, let me start with Asari Dokubo. Unfortunately, yes, I didn't even know about this. I was watching it. I was replaying um, yesterday's program this morning, and I was so vexed in my spirit. And the panelists did justice to it. But I want to add another dimension. You see, I was waiting. I don't know if somebody mentioned it and I didn't hear. Part of his speech yesterday, he mentioned the fact when the, the, one of the journalists asked him when he was busy beating his chest that it is because of them, him, his men, that people can now travel Nigeria, some parts of Nigeria safely. And he was now asked, 
Is he saying that they had a military? They now, he now said no. The Nigerian constitution does not uh, uh, permit that. But that they have mercenaries from other countries. Did you hear that? Please. Did anybody hear that? No, no. He said Nigeria do hire mercenaries from other countries as well. Exactly. So he is... Yeah, that's what he said. What, he said what Nigeria, that, who, that, yeah. they, they, that they hired mercenaries. He, he mentioned some countries in um, South America who are hired mercenaries. Do you do we know what mercenaries are? My my G, uh, my uh, Niger watch. I was listening to it. My I, I was I was really low in spirit. A mercenary is one who serves only for wages. Yeah, that is the dictionary description. Uh, especially a soldier hired by a foreign country to fight in its army or its uh, mercenary and the primarily the primarily concerned with making money that is their primary goal to make money at the expense of ethics what is ethics anything that is upright moral they do not adhere to that so they can kill, they can rape, they can name, they can, sorry, they can fight. I'm please, so sorry. Words, I, words, I, I correct my, let me correct myself. You know, be you correct me. I remember. I will get used to it. No vex. They can do sorry. anything. Yeah. You see? Madam, that tells me that, sorry? Yeah, I, uh, I just wanted to add to it. Uh, mercenaries. They are used to destabilize, destabilize, yes, yes. any force, any uh, national force that are which actually doing fighting incumbents or any kind of uh, terrorists in their country. They bring them to destabilize them so they cannot be effective. That's what they do. Exactly. So you see that confession yesterday. He's coming to come and give a certain narrative, but exposing that all these problems we are having, this insurgent, this Boko Haram, whatever the name they call them, headsmen, whatever it is that they call them, they are behind it. The only reason, you see, people create so problems and then they come and tell you that this is the solution. They will bring disease for you. And then they will now come and tell you, oh, we've created medicine. This is the medicine that will kill the disease. Why is it that we cannot, we can, people can now go through, uh, there is now security in those areas please, that he's saying. The K word, the K word, Manda, please. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Why, why is it that people can now pass those, can, can apply those areas safely? Because they have the power to tell them, take a break. So, that is another angle. Look at the kind of people that Agbado is bringing to the table to, to, to come and, uh, and giving them pro prominent clout, space to sit and talk to us. A mercenary, a, 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 a terrorist, he himself is a terrorist. Can you understand why a terrorist is paid ten million dollars every year? That is Dokubo. Your Adwa government started him on ten million dollars every year to protect the pipeline because they were terrorizing the region, making it difficult for the exploration of petrol that is how that excuse came and now we don't even have uh, the petrol that is being you know explored in nigeria is not refined in nigeria can you not see that he has been one of the tools that has been used to destabilize that region a terrorist is supposed to be behind bars that was what they called him and while they were paying him $10 million every year, 
they, they was, he was called a terrorist. That should sink in Nigerians and ask you, ask yourselves, how come? How come? How come a terrorist is being paid ten thousand? I mean, ten million dollars. Ten million dollars. Huh? I'm just going to say it again. With the oil wealth that have been catered out of the country illegally, where we cannot account for millions of barrels that are being stolen from our shores on a daily basis, who are the, those doing it? These are all work of the mercenaries. These are all jobs of the mercenaries. And he's told us that they, are, they, got, they, they brought in mercenaries. That the state of Nigeria brought in mercenaries. Which state of Nigeria brought in mercenaries? Which government brought in mercenaries? This is serious, Nigerians. This is serious. The state called Nigeria is under siege. Which president that has sworn to protect the borders and integrity of the sovereign and sovereignty of nigeria which of the president brought in while he was blood uh, he was bashing um um the the pre the, the one that just went the the new new man the one that the the, the one that likes cows more than human beings is is he the one that was paying Mercenaries to come into the country who weakened our military. Why is our military so weak that they cannot fight in subjects that they have to go and bring in mercenaries? Nigerians, we need to ask questions. We don't just listen to them and let it sink. This is mind control. He is here to control our minds, to tell, to send us in a direction that we do not want to go. Wake up. That is all they are doing. They are trying to get us to go to see a different angle. Now, trying to throw the military under the bus. I don't even know if the military, I don't want to even know whether they are into, they, they are, whatever the situation, the, the, the situation ship that they have. This is the, the sovereignty of Nigeria that this one single chimpanzee is talking about. He's, he's, he's demeaning the sovereignty of Nigeria by, by bringing down the military and telling us that our military cannot protect us, that they have to go and bring mercenaries. Oh my God, arise, please, uh, Rufai, tomorrow, ask the right questions. Ask the right questions. Nigerians need to wake up. Let me tell you, this is why I understand every day why Americans will not give up their guns. I'm going to be controversial here, and I'm going out on a limb to say this. We all need to be armed, because my people are being slaughtered on a daily, on a daily. They've gone to my village. They are killing people on a daily, wiping us off. Because we are sitting ducks, you think if we can protect ourselves, the story will be the same? The state is, 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 is going to war, taking its people on an unannounced war. We are in a war that we don't even know. We are just sitting down there, they will buy us. They are buying us anyhow. Now, let me tell you, this is a, this is a reliable source. But I'm going to say allegedly, the weapons that were sent by America to Ukraine are in your country. They are in your country. Go and go, is, is allegedly in your country. Think about that. Don't just sit down and let them feed you. Think about what they are doing. Think, think, think. Don't just be thinking unnecessary. Uh, big brother uh, 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 tiktokers this this that that to confuse you and, uh, and, uh, uh, and 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 take away your concentration from what really matters ask questions don't just believe that when he was spewing his nonsense i was listening and i was asking myself why is he spewing this nonsense
Why is he spewing his nonsense? Why? What, what, what are they trying to achieve by him coming and throwing the military under the bus? Is it because Agbado knows that he's not a favorite of the military? He's got no military pedigree. None whatsoever. He is jittery where they are concerned. And he's trying to weaken them by this propaganda. Be it propaganda or not, truth or not. As far as I'm concerned, it is... Why are we just knowing about it now? Why? Why is he just saying it now? Was it not APC that was ruling us for the past eight years? Why are they just bringing it up now? For what purpose? What are they trying to achieve? That is the question we should be asking ourselves. Is it because he sees that he cannot... The, the weight Nigerians that are following the case in the court, in the, the tribunal, back to back, with the, with, with, with the truck loads of evidence that cannot be swallowed or, 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 or signed off or wished away with one propaganda or another. They cannot even fathom how they can even keep that under wrap or try to quell it because our, our man, on the, our rock is standing solid, not shifting, not cutting to say, okay, I don't want to do, go to court anymore. They've tried by bringing a papa, the, the trial, the harbalist, to try and get the case out of court because they know the merit of the case that we have on ground. Not because I always say it, that I have faith in the outcome of our mandate, not because I trust the judiciary, but because of the valid evidence that we have, the weight of evidence we have, that is where my trust is. And because of that, there is even them, they, they cannot do anything. They, it, it, the, the only way is to outrightly steal it away from us. That is the only way that they can carry it and give it to the to to, to, to a sick man. And they see the handwriting on the wall, and then they are dragging this chimpanzee to come and sit on the on, on, on under the seal of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What audacity from a terrorist to come and sit in a position of power to come and be telling me rubbish? Well, what truth? What truth has he not tied people? What 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 has he not done? What has he not done? Even come and tell us about how he has four wives, 22, three children, and several SUVs. The only thing I don't have is a private jet. To hell with you. You will be one of those that will be having maggots on their still alive. Maggots will be coming out of you while you are still with your eyes open. What audacity. The level of impunity that this man has brought to that Nigeria. My goodness, it can only be... I was crying listening to this man because I was in so much pain. that I, I couldn't wait for, for Niger Watch this evening. So I can come and vent. This is me venting. I'm so upset with that man. That the press are even giving them a, 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 a platform amazes me. But it's good that we are knowing the heart of the wicked, the, the, the dungeon. The, 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 what is in your own opinion? What? Oh, God. Thank you. You see, I, okay, Elvis, this man, yeah, he has carried his wealth out of Nigeria. The Niger Delta that he's claiming to be fighting for, he's carrying the wealth out of there and gone and giving it to Beninese, 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 or Beninese, whatever they call them. His wealth is all there. But you, he, he's not coming to come and fight one fake fight. Why is he not staying in the country and fighting it? Can you see why Agbado is using them? Putting one criminal after the other around him. Nigeria is under siege. And for any Nigerian that is saying that, let us just uh, uh, move on. Uh, uh, he seems to be doing okay. But I don't want to curse you. I swear. I'm so pained. Wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up. Wake up. 
up. Don't be lulled into some miserable sense of security. What security? What sense of security have you got that you cannot even travel in, in, in broad daylight? You can't travel the streets broad daylight. You can't flood your car. You can't feed your family. You are saying, let's move on. Move on to where? You are the only place you'll be moving to is your grave. How can somebody come and take, violate you in every sense of the word? And you say, let's move on. Even God will not move on. As peaceful and as he, 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 the, the, the master of the, 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 the prince of peace, there is no peace if there is no justice. What do you mean? What do you mean peace? In a place of justice is where you find peace. Where there is no justice, there is no peace. What kind of peace? Fake peace? Fake peace? We move on. They kick you, you roll over to the next place. They kick you on that end, you roll over. That is, the, that is your fate. Wake up and don't listen to their lies. Ask yourself. If they tell you good morning, don't believe that. Go out and go and check good morning. And even if you see it this morning, Check and be sure that they did not come and put picture or paint outside to make it look like morning. Don't just take them. Be cynical. Have a healthy distrust of these people. If you trust them, that is when they will. That is it's not the trust that make make us to be to be raped at the polls because we thought that the 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 the, 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 the has some sense of integrity. We trusted him till he dragged us. We are hiding him. Or else they would have put us in our graves. People have even died themselves because they've lost hope. That hope, that hope, if you don't have hope, what is it? A lot of Nigerians are walking around depressed. The pressure is kicking at each of them. And all those men of, what men of God? They're not men of God. They are devils. That you speak up and, sh and, and shout. You have someone that is coming and telling us that he's bringing mercenary into our country. How? 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 That he's telling us this a mistake. That it is a Nigerian government that is sponsoring mercenaries. Hey! How come Nigerians were not made aware? If there is genuine, if it is true, they work for us. Why did they, not, did they not tell us our military needs support? Our military is on life support. They need support. We are going to bring in people to come and help our military that is on life support. Why did they not tell us? But we hear the billions that they are pushing into the military. We hear the amount of money that they are pushing in. But instead, the the the, 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 the the, the, the criminals are getting more and more emboldened. AK-45 or B-41 or 44 is in their hands. Can you imagine? You see, we are still being enslaved, enslaved. We are still being enslaved. I come here, I say, whatever is happening in the international scene, Pay attention because it is, has a direct consequence to my own country, to my homeland. It has a direct consequence. For so those of you thinking that the man who is at the helm of affairs in the US is a, a, a better person, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, then, have you not seen the news? They are burning people in Uganda left, right, and center for making decisions about what happens in people's bedrooms. That is what they are more concerned about than your life. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam Busy Breeze. I can see that uh, you were waiting for this day, or rather, for this particular broadcast to pour everything out. Yes, that's where we find ourselves. That's how we find ourselves upon all that you just expressed right now.
you're still going to see one or two person that will be against you. That will say, oh, we're going to leave them. We are happy the way it is. Uh, the man is from my village. We speak the same language. Is the only right person that can do the job. So <clears throat> if you check where these problems is coming from, it's uh, decades ago. These people, they, 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 they foreseen the future already. So they weaponized the confusion, suffering, pains, division on us decades ago. So that's why you see that a lot of us, our mentality have been captured. That's why you see a grown-up person. This time, you know, before when people speak, contrary to the things that we're talking about like this, we say, oh, he's an educated person, not go to school. This time you see professors, very, very highly educated individuals supporting the wrong thing. So it's, it's a big problem. Let's move on. Let me move on. Thank you very much. Uh, I can see Mr. Ike, you just joining us. Uh, good evening to you, sir. How are you doing today? Happy Father's Day to you. Hey, my brother. Happy Father's Day to everybody in the panel. How are you, my brother? I'm very fine. I'm very fine. I hope you have enough time to wait for us. Or are you in rush? Yes, you know, because uh, remember to the last time I was with you, I said... Uh, I'm going on vacation right now. I'm, I'm at Amsterdam, and um, oh, but I was listening to your program yesterday while I was in Amsterdam when I was driving. Okay, to... talk to us. Sir. Talk to us. Yeah, I I, I really want to say something about the, the discussion of yesterday was really what made me to log it. You know, because um, I've been listening, but. You know, my wife said this vacation is for family, you know, but I can't, I can't wait, I can't stay there not listening to Niger Wash, you know. So, um, you know, I want to talk about in respect of uh, Engineer Ken, what he said yesterday. Um, really, Brother Elvis, I want to thank you for, for your position in your platform, in this platform, what you stood for. And I want to thank my brother Sian more especially, and all the whole people who speak truth to power concerning the comment of Engineer Ken yesterday. You know, I, I wanted to come in yesterday, but I was so tired. and uh, But I, I, I logged off when you were begging him for more than 10 minutes to, you know, apologize. I don't know whether he did that because uh, I couldn't continue with the program. He did it. Because he I, did was it. Highly, I was highly offended by the comment of Engineer Ken yesterday. So I, I don't know, did he, uh, did he, you know, offer no, apology yesterday? No, he didn't apologize, I didn't. Okay, that's by the way, but I, I'm happy, uh, I'm, I was really impressed, my brother, brother Davis, with you, you have always stood your ground, and uh, you allowed him to say what he want to do, and then also, after he spoke, you say what you used to say in this platform every time. You know, and I was really happy with your decision and what your comment yesterday, and everybody that commented yesterday. So I might uh, my login in is I did, just. I did apologize on his behalf because I asked him to apologize. He refused, but I did apologize on his behalf, and I detest and I I, I disagreed with his stance, what he was saying. Because for him to generalize, I will say it again. I was hundred percent against it. You know, um, it was. It looks like it was a direct attack. So I apologize on his behalf. Thank you. Go yeah, ahead, I, I was. I was really happy because, as you said, the engineer Ken was part of us. But you know, that comment of yesterday really hit me. Really hit me badly. You know, I was wondering, like, what you were saying yesterday. <laughs> Who knows? You know, sometimes it's not only uneducated people are bought over by the by those. You know, but we never can tell. You know, so. But I thank God for the brothers and sisters who spoke yesterday uh, that give me the strength back. You know, when, when, when I when I wake up, I try to, you know, listen to the program of yesterday. You know, I, I try to, you know, recover myself to say, you know, thank you. And thank you for all the, you know, all the people who always in this platform speak truth to power. And I'm really very grateful. And, uh, you know, I think my emotions were able to, you know, disappear, you know. So 
I really thank God for you and everybody in this platform. Uh, one or two things I want to add is, you know, Nigeria has entered into a second chance boss, you know, and I think that, um, let, let, let me start with um, Asero Dokubo. You know, listen, why I said Nigeria has entered a second chance boss, um, you can imagine Brother Elvis who Asero Dokubo is what position, what audacity, what temerity, what what power, what position does this man hold to be able to go to the seat of power of the federal government of Nigeria, a nation, the most populated black nation in the world, to sit on a hold, on a hollow ground of the seat of power with the seal of the federal government of Nigeria sitting as Oro Dogu was seeking, making a press conference, speaking to Nigeria, standing with the so-called selective president of Nigeria. My brother, you know, listen, I, I, that, that's, that's just to tell me and you what is really, what Nigeria, like I see, you, we are all Nigerians have been captured, you know? Nigeria have been captured. They are talking about... Uh, People that are saying that he has done well in this few days. What are, look at the people that have been visiting Asorok. They are the same people. It's the same people, you know. It's the same group of people. We can his group. The same, you know, people that are supposed to be in jail. The people that are supposed to be, you know, people so, supposed to be hiding their faces in shame. They are the same people that are that are trying to tell us that he's doing something. I, you know, like. Few gullible Nigerians, there, you know, like people who have been speaking as, as are listening to the program. You know, Nigerians are really induced with few things. Oh, they see light for two days. Everybody, ah, everybody's happy. But, you know, I know this platform has given a lot of Nigerians, a lot of patriotic Nigerians, the power not to give up and not to be distracted. And I tell you, my brother, we are not distracted. No matter whatever they do, he is doing what he need to do. Um, you know, arresting the same people that are supposed to be, he himself is supposed to be in prison. We are talking about oil, oil stealing. He has an oil company. He is part of the cabal. He's the part of these people that are stealing. So who is going to accuse who? Who is going to arrest who? You know, you remove EFCC, put him in prison, and without allowing the lawyers and his family to see him, which country, where does it happen? It's only in Nigeria. You know, you remove a mefele, put him in prison. What, 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 what is that for? You know, these are things, uh, these are the same people, they were all together. They know themselves. He's trying to let us to know he wants to do something. But listen, on a faulty foundation, you can never build a house. So no matter whatever he do, the few gullible Nigerians that are being deceived are the same people who has always hold this country in bondage for all these years, you know, look at from the president, look at the Senate president. These are the people that are supposed to be in prison. You know, Apabio is the president of the Senate. Can you imagine in a country like Nigeria where Apabio is the Senate president? Then I, you ask yourself from where, from where is the Redeemer coming from? You know, so my brothers and sisters, please continue to speak truth to power. Don't allow whatever that is going on to distract us. We are moving on. We are going to reclaim our mandate. Nigeria is going to be recovered. But always remember what P always said. It's not that going to be easy. And we know. And we have seen it. And we have experienced it. And we know that it's not going to be easy. So no matter whatever they are doing, we have enough of evidence in the court. It has been overwhelming. I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow might be another day of shocker, you know. So um, we are watching. So I just want to thank each and every one of you to continue to encourage you, to continue to speak truth to power. Brother Evans, I want to thank you especially because you have always defended when people bring, you know, tribal sentiment and tribal bigotry in this platform. You always stood your ground. And really, I am, I am very grateful you know, to what you stand for and for everyone that is in this platform that continue to speak the truth. You know, the people in Nigeria, our family and our friends that we're trying to serve, we know some of them are few gullible. They are the people that are, you know, our problem, but we can never give up to Nigeria. You know, like we used to say, um, 
where, where I live, like you just said a few minutes ago, you, you never come back. There is no electricity. You are not afraid of opening your door. Don't have insecurity problem. You don't buy data. It's just the same thing with me and every other person. But still, see the way we are crying for, you know, the better of our country. So please, I want to encourage all of you. Um, I will continue to listen. Sometimes I might not be able to join, but um, by 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 Wednesday, we are going to leave Amsterdam to go to somewhere in Europe. I don't know yet. The children, they say they have a surprise for me and my wife. So we don't know where we are going yet until, until by Wednesday, when we get to the airport, they will tell us where we are going, you know. So, uh, <laughs> but, I, but I hope to continue to listen when I have the opportunity to, to join the platform, okay? God Thank bless you. all of you. God and I pray you. for more grace and more strength, all of you, brother, uh, brother CM. Thank you for your for standing up. You know, thank you for standing up for the truth and you know giving your you know your 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 comment with with facts and figures. And I'm really highly impressed. You know, brother Alex and all of you, Madam Patricia, Omoye's corner. You know, all of you, please. I love everybody, and I, I will continue to listen from. You know, from where I'm hiding because my wife is downstairs. I just sneak out somewhere to try to see if I can we, speak for two or three minutes with you guys. God bless you all. God bless you, Mr. Ike. I uh, would really do appreciate you. Enjoy your holiday. Happy Father's Day to you once again. Uh, Thank you. Yes. I think say me myself, I need this holiday because uh when I notice that day UK is in a holiday, I, I need holiday. Make this one <laughs> finish, make I go holiday. Ah, <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you, sir. All right, um, Mama Yusu, I beg, talk to us. Good evening to you, Mama. Thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to all the good father in the house. So. Thank you, thank you. May your father who be reward with God's blessing, and may your leadership. Be something to emulate by the younger generation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I don't understand. All in Nigeria, when somebody go talk something for money, the next day go say not being talker. Hey. <laughs> God. They say water oh, shall never end. Only in Nigeria. Eh? You go inside. If, House of so Sin, they confess. Even when it's, it's, like even when it's on wife. tape, if, eh? even when it's on tape, for everybody. You will say, not be saying they talk. Uh, the video eh? was not good. <laughs> <laughs> God. You see down there, the so called uh, Wuru Wuru, when I went to old Senate president. If they tell you, say, keep your mouth shut, not go there, no. You see, they talk. Then when uh, people else are busy, they read what you talk, or they attack you and your wife. You can't come and say, no, you, you talker. So now you're great. Now the, the spirit when you enter grave, now you talker. Ah, God. We have big problem in Nigeria. Hi. We get. Then uh, we never finish with that one. Somebody, when the money don't finish for Nigerian Republic, I've been on a wear in day. He come back, he enter a so rock, come sit down for where president they take talk. He come begin the broadcast, waiting we not understand. As I read the Kubo. Hey. So now I go decide who they go release from prison and who they're they not go release from prison. Ah. Okay, this. This is your country, at least I understand about how we are. I say, me myself, <laughs> when we see this 80 something years old man say, ah, I didn't. I didn't. It was an allegation. They lied. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> hey. Eh? Nigeria. 80 something years old. To attack you and I and support him. You tell us what do you and your wife they do? Then you go come back and say you not talk. Huh? Who can talk? Huh? Who enter your mouth to talk? Not only Nigeria, another spirit, they enter people mouth to they talk. Oh. 
for house of senate ah. you see i tell god beg god love now when he does a bit things everything when we need to begin to put in place now so that make so why some people they target the presidency a lot of people go target the senate floor a house of red because what did we get for house of red a house of senate so that arm of government they be wahala of their own judicial so the three arms of government in nigeria are they supposed to work in collaboration or they are supposed to checkmate each other? Ah. Children, this country to rescue right down a hand, though. It down a hand. We get the number. Let's focus on economic empowerment so that the number plus the economic empowerment. We'll rescue her from this mess when we did. As I read Dokuba to enter Villa, come they sit down for where President Day. So now you don't come because Federal, the President of Nigeria, when go sit down for that, they give us order. What is wrong with us? <laughs> Judiciary, I beg you now. No matter how much they give you now, they could not deliver justice for us. I beg you now. I make you also prepare. Say, when they don't deliver that justice, we get to uproot that imposter come up from Asorok. Why are we treating? Treating a whole country as if we are treating our is it be a parlor we are running? I don't understand. Because the situation now is just make it just be like say come make every person numb for home. They never finish uh fuel subsidies, they come they talk of uh, school uh, student loan when not benefit uh yeah like a, who is who is the beneficiary of that student loan? He said, and some people go come come say Tunubu is working. How do you define that? Oh, it's like a a mefele. Now be the work. I be suspend the mefele. He suspend the EFCC chairman. Is that the work? <laughs> anyway. The number one, he get question mark. Number two, he get question mark. They can't give you another number three that has question mark. So what it can remain for us? I beg, I want ask you. Now when they won't finish this uh, uh, 180 days of this judgment of a uh, of a court. Elvis, I want to. Uh uh you know we have uh, uh less than uh, two weeks to go you know not the, the full eight, 180 days old. in terms of the 180 days the total that is left on the 180 days is about uh as of the, uh, as of on the 8th of uh, june it was 100 days that left so today now is uh, 18 so we have uh 90 days left to go so days the, to the two weeks is the two weeks you are talking about so complete which session the, the two the, we have less than two weeks to submit all evidences then the proper case go constat argument and that an argument and everything they start so all these weaknesses they are calling it's not yet the case yet no it's part of it is is they are jotting everything down it's part of all is part of evidence witnesses you know after everything is finished then they now start uh taking on uh you know, judgment and all that. Normally, normally, if not because the judiciary is delayed, by now we suppose dog they they don't supposed to take decision already. Although, uh, the way me they look them, they they might take decision this will went or so or next week. I don't know, you know, but the way I'm looking at it. Shebi, there was one decision when they begin. They say that they conference, they conference. They don't take that decision. Well, they say that they were. 
one ruling where they're supposed to take when the, when when they're supposed to do before the swearing in when all of that called they go conference they go conference no, all those ones do don't pass all those ones don't pass but they didn't do the ruling now no no but depend on the one you are saying is it the one in abuja of 20, uh, 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 there know. was one ruling they were supposed to take when i don't know which ruling is all about that they were supposed to take, they're not going to take and they're going to postpone. And when they say, if they take and if they in favor, they will stop the swearing in. No, no, no. That one was di disputed. You know, they, they, they just rule them out. I, I understand. That one was uh, trying to stop the swearing in and all that. And I believe that's what you are saying. That was ruled out. There are so many uh, cases they ruled out, you know. Um, you know, they say does it have weight to, to stand. You know, but the one we are now is the, is the strongest one. And the, to be honest, the way everything is going for me, I'm very, very confident, you know, with the way we are going. So this one we are going now, is it going to elapse? Is it is it going to take the one 80 days before they go rule? I bet at one point with no, it doesn't supposed to, but the maximum this is 180 days. But it okay. doesn't supposed to. But as we are talking right now. We have used uh, um, 90 days already. 90 okay. days. As of today, we don't use 90 days from that 180 days. So what is left now, you know, is now uh, another 90 days to go. So you see, the time is running fast. The whole thing started is March, but some people didn't know uh, how to calculate it. But yes, as of today, we have 90 days to go. Okay. Then uh, in sensitive cases like that, why why can't they do this court case in the morning? Sometimes they go shift at two o'clock as if it doesn't. Yeah, matter. they are doing it on rotational basis based on because PDP is also there. So it's, okay. it's a shift pattern, you know. Like, like two weeks ago, uh, they put um, no last week they put us for evening, right? Okay. So this week where we did so we just finished now they put us for morning. Okay. You know, so uh, this week we want to start from tomorrow. Now they come put us for afternoon. So they are, you know, if they leave only us for afternoon and leave only PDP for evening, is not is is not fair. Okay. You know. Yeah. All right. Uh, Give us a mandate. Please turn on your camera. Thank you. So. All right. Good. The only thing I will say, I know it's stressful. I know a lot of people are going to so much mental and psychological stress right now. Home and abroad, no person is exempted. But the only thing I will say to us, let us be strong. Because if you add these challenges plus your personal challenge, it can send somebody to hospital. It can cause depression. But let us encourage ourselves because, especially in this Western world, those when they in Nigeria, they still get people on the street when they see the interact with and all. But in Western world, it get as it be. So anything that makes you anything, I will encourage everyone. Once in a while, anything that you know they can help your mental state, please do it for yourself. Either you go out for lunch for yourself, or you go out with friends, or you listen to music, music that will revive your spirit. You need it right now. Because nobody is there with you, especially in this Western world that is so lonely. So let us be strong. It is not over until it is over. With all this overwhelming evidence, except the judiciary wants another thing. And I want to appeal to them, no matter how much money they give to you, please be like, good luck, Jonathan, that says the blood I don't know whether now they take it. I print that one for the language change, you know. 
No, it's that's fine. What, that's fine. Yes. It's not what him. So he gave up. So judiciary, please take leave from good Lord Jonathan. When he's supposed to fight, he did not allow his selfish reason to stand in the way. He put Nigeria first. So judiciary, you have enough evidence. Please, with the evidence before you, put Nigeria first. Because if you don't, if the Kasala boss and everybody, like every rightly say, we will get two places. <laughs> Una get only one majority of Una. Yes. And judiciary, if Una is on a go wrong, come here if Una do that nonsense. My children, they wait for you for every airport when I go pass, enter. So, please, please, please. You better return their money and let Thank you. the nation of peace be your watchword to make your decision. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mama Esho. It's good to have you on the panel. Thanks Thank for your you. uh, words. All right, guys, I'm going to say this again. Um, we are covering, uh, taking the live update on what is happening in court. Tomorrow, our court time is uh, 2 p.m. Nigeria was going to take it live. So endeavor to join us every day in court. Uh, you know that we used to do that every day, but we took break for more than four weeks. But we are back on it again. We started on Friday. So tomorrow we are going to be here taking live, live updates in everything. In fact, full transcript on what is going on inside the court. So 2 p.m. tomorrow, Nigeria Watch will be on air. But before that, uh, our replay might be on air. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. And I want to respond to someone on the comment session. Um, uh, Uzo. Uzo, you asking me if uh, if I'm aware of the situation in Lagos in Alaba International Market. Yes, we've discussed it already. You know, it looks like, it looks like you've missed out. We discussed it. Um, was it yesterday? Yeah, I think we discussed it yesterday. You know, we discussed it uh, yesterday. No, day before yesterday night. That was on Friday night. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I'm sure. I, I don't know. But we already discussed it. Uh, yes, it's pathetic. It's very, very pathetic. You know, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Ken, you are back again. Um, please turn on your mic so that I can accept you to the panel. Okay, you turn on your mic. You know, you don't need to. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So I'll accept you in now. So um, after Mr. Chooks Obibweze will be Dr. Mike. Mr. Chooks Obibweze, thank you very much for your patience, sir. Talk to us. Good evening to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Yeah, happy Father's Day to everyone on the panel. Happy Father's like Day to know. everyone watching. Happy Father's Day for everybody all over the world. It's a wonderful day. Uh, good evening. Our uh, fellow panelists, uh, good evening, those watching us. Good evening, those on the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start with um, you know, the man who went to Aso Rock, you know, and they did what he did. This is what we all know that uh, would happen if uh. This man is allowed to stay longer. It's his usual way. You know, Tony Kabakana is uh, kicking. You know, his compatriot has gone there. The next one is Tony Kabaka in, uh, uh, you know, in line. So we all know. And uh, I'm disappointed with the military. You know, their statement is very, very, you know, shaky. Why would you allow somebody, you know, like their language, a bloody civilian, you know, entertain such talk against the military? You know, it's, I'm still baffled, you know, I'm still baffled. The DSS is dead, you know, because uh, in actual sense, this is the case of the DSS, you know. Because this is this has to do with the national security. So the DSS is, is toothless. The military 
is toothless? Because how can how can military come and say, hey, give us the name without inviting you? It's, it's so it's so shameful. And this is why everybody is complaining. This is the actual thing they're doing, that everybody is angry. But then what do we do? I say, uh, I don't know how to say this, but you know, I think uh, we we need to we need to start, you know, making sure our people know knows the right thing to do. I think uh, there's a lady who said that yesterday that um, we need to start organizing. And I think that is a very, very valid point. Because all these things we're saying, we, we actually have the power to change this. Forget about the person who is at the number one. We cannot continue to complain. Yes, we are lucky this time that, you know, the person who's supposed to be at number one is, will be there. So, in actual sense, look, if we, if we continue to hold these people we sent to National Assembly accountable, I don't think we will complain much. Whichever way, we will not allow them to rig the election. Make sure we put the people there. If you go there and you do nothing, you're not going back. It's as simple as that. You're not going back. You know, it's it's like what uh, uh, CM said about the, the, the pots. This, we can hold these men to, to make sure they go there and say, hey, these people must have right to maintain the pots around them and make sure it's, function, it's functioning. We have the power. Because this, this, this is becoming a joke. We allow few men to make a decision that will take us back 200 years. We need to start doing something. We can't just continue to complain because we see Nobody, nobody cares about if you complain or not. And this is why uh, uh, Baba Chua can come out and said what he said. And in the next minute, he says he didn't say it. How can he say he didn't say it? We knew when, 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 when he said that, that he's going to deny. Because this is always the case. Each time, what they do is they say one thing, the next day is it that they kind of apologize, that is not what I meant. We've had the case of uh, 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 for food. Coyote. So this is not the first time. And the NBA, they need to do something about this. It is in their hands to do something about this. We cannot continue like this. They should stand up as the judiciary or whoever, whichever body that is responsible to, you know, make sure that this don't, you know, under the, don't go under the carpet. This is ridiculous. That such a wealthy allegation they are trying to, you know, sweep it under the carpet. For how long shall we continue in this trajectory? No, we need to we need to do something about this. This man, we must demand that this man be questioned. It's not out of place for us to do so. That is the right of the citizens. Look at the National Assembly. They kept mute about this. Nobody is talking about it there. Were they not witness to this? Where are the likes of uh, 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 um, um, Femi Falana? Or is he hungry for something 
in this government because I know who he is, he would have made a statement, threatened to go to court. Where is he? Where is the likes of uh, Wales, Wales Show Inca? And yesterday, he came out to spill what he spilled. Why they sweep the real issue under the carpet? It's so, so sad. It's so, so sad. I you there. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. And thank you for, you know, the, uh, the wonderful control you had over the show yesterday because I've left before he, get, he got hit. I, I said I will, you know, thank you when I come uh, on, online today. So I just want to thank you, you know, for the courage and the, you know, leadership skill you, you know, you display on this very platform. Many people are watching and learning from you. Thank you. Is it me? Is it the uh, video? Uh, when I don't talk finished, I maybe Nigeria watch now. Okay. <laughs> I have a quick um, question for Mr. Chooks. Okay. Greetings, by the way, greetings everyone on the panel and in the comment session. Um, Mr. Chooks, greetings. Happy Father's Day to all the all the fathers in the house and the expecting fathers and those who represent fathers in the lives of people. So, Mr. Chooks, my question is, uh, you, in your submission, you said that um, we should start um, putting things in place. So, I kind of have a question as to how, you know, you uh, suggest or recommend that we start doing that. Because I agree with you. So, I want to, like, get an idea of when you say start putting things in place, what exactly do you mean? Yeah, thank you for that uh, question. You know, um, I think uh, before the election, we've been, you know, speaking about how we're going to make sure we hold these people accountable. And uh, this platform, if not for this court case, I believe that um, Mr. Elvis would have uh, created a day, you know, to discuss how we have, uh, you know, people on ground, you know, walking towards from one community to the other, make sure that people understand. And, you know, I, I think last week as well, we discussed here about, um, about Alex, you know, talked about, uh, you know, making sure that people register, you know, with the local uh, people, you know, that we come to those who are in, in diaspora as well, we, you know, do have something, you know, the, 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 the good thing now is everything is the internet of things, you know, we can register online, we can do whatever and, you know, give out the voice for people to understand. Because if people understand the right they have, especially against this man we put on National Assembly, if people understand the power they have over these people, these people won't be misbehaving. Because you have four years, it's not automatic, you are not governor, that the people can do something about you. The people have you under their belt so that's that's uh, that's uh, one way i think we can con you know start the little way we can thank you thank you mr chooks god bless you thanks for your uh, suggestion as well thank you guys i beg make could press on this like button now uh -uh. wait till the apple make could let's take this like to 500 currently on 431 god bless you all that liked already thank you uh on the comment section i'd like to quickly recognize uh my people right there iris finance thanks for joining us madam god bless you uh martina ambassador tv thank you very much god bless you i can see uh simeon uh olaka right there thanks for joining our daily phone eclipse fred rem i can see you as well god bless every one of you thank you thank you for coming in i just wanted to quickly randomly I uh, appreciate some of you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, God, now, God bless you. Now, continue to press on the like button, my people. See me on now, but yeah, I can see you right there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my good people. Uh, Freedom Simple, I can see you as well. Uh, Uzo, thank you. Everybody, please press on the like button. Tony Sal, thank you very much. Um, 
and uh, Tony Africa as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, God bless you all. Let's uh, call on uh, Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken, are you available to talk to us now, sir? Hello, Dr. Ken. I did. I just did wait for my time. Okay, thank you for your patience. I know say you don't wait tired, I know it's small. Thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to you. Please talk to us, sir. Okay. Ah, if I do what I can even see some people, two persons can even talk before I talk, self. I can't say anyway. Me, I be I they follow my principal, Peter Obi. I beg always... not your not, not your verse. We prioritize uh, <laughs> the people we come from Nigeria and the other man, Mr. Ike. He was in haste because he's in the holidays. So it happened like that once in a while. Thank yes. You, no, I don't get a problem. I know say anytime somebody do something with not the normal, it gets mm -hmm. reason. Yeah, the only person who I know say they do them wrongly, and I be Mahmoud. And we'll have to <laughs> tell them to a face. Yeah, making no say the school when they go, not the only in go that school. If you hold PhD now for different discipline, other people hold PhD. They are doctor in their own for their own area of their field. So some point are political science, some are inside different level. But you see, um, only once for me, oh, I, anytime I want to talk, I know they really did address specifically these people we did for this panel. I delight like to talk to people say the, the wider audience we did very far across the ocean, like Africa and mostly Nigeria. That is why they won't talk to. Because I know say all of us over there, they try to contribute to. But the thing they say, um, as I they follow, all of us, they follow the whole event where they, where they unfold like this. Uh, inside court, we are winning. Every day, there's always advantage that is adding up. And even, I think that last week, not Tinubu contracting, I've been last two weeks, not contracting judiciary. So when you see it like that, you go no say, they don't report to her and say, look what did happen. And then a lawyer don't explain to her and say, this is that that implied the implication. So in don't see and say, for my implication, it'd be like say, Bros, those ring too, they affect our media beg. You know, I mute you, I have to mute you straight away. Sort them out, make you mute yourself, I beg. Yeah, no, they try to call me from... Uh, yeah, but from those, that your ring too will give us problem. Bros, that your ring too will give us problem. Mute your, mute, mute it now. Just mute it, it will give us problem. Gonna pass the music with that. We don't have right to it. Or you want to pick the call? Let me come back to you. Let someone else can speak. All right. Thank you. Let me just answer the person and then. Okay. Yes, I'll come back to you better. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my people. Okay. Let me go to my sister. Oma Yeskona is in the building. Oma Yeskona, thank you very much for joining us. Please talk to us. Good evening to you. Good evening, Hello. Mister. Mr. I Elvis, I bet, I bet tell me happy Father's Day first. Happy Father, you know day when I talk, um, I say happy Father's Day to, to all the men. Mr. Elvis, happy Father's Day to you, especially you so much. <laughs> because you're not you're not just a father at home. I believe you're a father everywhere. You know, because everybody everybody is listening to your voice here. Everybody, people are learning from what you're doing and and uh, how what you're saying. People are gaining more wisdom from you. You automatically, whether you like them or not, you don't become like professor. <laughs> when they it's when you so in in attitude, in actions, and in spoken words, so people are learning from you. And I'm I just want to say official. I'm very proud of what you're doing. I'm very proud of what you know, how far you've come with this, and your consistency blows my mind. And your energy, I don't tell you, never still tell us the secret to that energy. Hey, hey. Mm. okay, now you didn't that hold that one for that back be, pocket. That will be, that will be, that will be. I uh, know. Many, uh, many of you now, many of you now. Thank yeah, you so thank you. Thank you very so much. Cool. You. Yes. Yes. So greetings to everyone. Happy Father's Day to everyone in the house. And my brother that spoke earlier, Dr. Ken, I just want to say I, I did enjoy in PG. Anytime he comes on and he starts to speak PG, it's like a highlight. It's one of the highlights of the show for me. So Dr. Ken, please, thank you for that PG. We did a learn for your hands. I like that PG. I wish that uh, we go adopt them as lingua franca for Nigeria, to be honest. Anyway. Me, uh, what I have to say really is that 
I'm not surprised by any of the actions that we're seeing. With Bukachawa, the the grandpapa, the uh, old grandpapa, the grandpapa ancestor. Grandpapa will talk for money. The evening, say not talking. He change it. Uh -huh. What what good can come out of this administration and anything around it? What good? Sometimes I wonder why we even waste time talking about this administration, even though I know sometimes we have to make reference to what they are saying and what they are doing and you know what's going on. But to me, it's almost like a it's almost like a waste of time because we already know where it is where, where it is going. We already know that they are incapable. They don't have what it takes. It's evident, it's even clear from day one. I mean, look at the people that are surrounding this man. Look at uh, uh, Asari Dokubo, that man from uh, wherever. Look at him. I mean, what good can come? This already tells you what we, what as Nigerians, what they need to expect. They're surrounded by thieving people, by fraudulent people, by people who were, who, who were kicked out of where they were before. Izik Bajabi Amila the one that was uh, accused of fraud in the U.S. as an attorney or stealing his client's money, which of them get clean hands? None. And they are all surrounding him. Thieves hiring thieves, drug barons hiring drug barons. All the people that this man has surrounded himself with, they're all runners for him. They run the drugs for him. They run everything illegal for him. Nothing good can come out of it. And again, I just said the man is no longer, he's not even, the INEC select is not even around. He's gone back for extra shot to last him for another few months again before he's ready for another shot. Nigeria is in the hands of criminals. It has been, it has been captured. I don't know who keeps saying that it, uh, it's state capture. Somebody keeps saying it on this live. I can't remember who, who it is. I know it, a number of people have said it. It's state capture that has taken place in Nigeria. It's no longer just one section of it. It's everywhere because we all know they use the worst of everybody. They use the worst of the Yorubas, the worst of the Igbos, the worst of the South South, the worst of the Edo people. Now let to, now Tony Kabaka me the expect now to come give speech. I'm expecting Tony Kabaka to come and come and give his own speech. All the evil people expect them because when you have fraudulent people, criminals that have taken over, what they, they will be their friends that are criminals will come now. They will come. And then you will start to see a lot of people who were part of the criminal structure, but removed for themselves so that people will not really know what they are up to. You see them start to come in and make themselves very, very uh, um, obvious to everyone. You know, isn't it clear now that the whole reason why, uh, and I, I know I'm, a, I'm going out a little bit of topic here, but the only reason why Wiki was doing all that drama he was doing, he was all part of the game. It was all part of the game because the man is trying to protect his interests, trying to make sure that nothing happens to him and his interests. The only thing that keeps me going right now is Peter Obi. That's the truth. I mean, I, I always say it, if I want to be encouraged and I feel like I'm drowning in everything that's happening in Nigeria, because I'm going to say this for free, we cannot give up. I've heard people say Nigeria problem eh, is plenty. It's overwhelming. I, I agree. But if we don't continue to speak up because the voice is the first thing we have, what other options do we have? We already know that the, 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 the way we used to do things, protesting, putting bodies on the line, these people don't care because the cow is more important than the human being in Nigeria. It's sad, but it's a fact. So we have to come up with more creative ways, which is why I asked Mr. Chooks what he thinks. You know, because we, we have to get extremely creative. The ingenuity within us has to, has to start kicking in now as to how we can ensure that we take these people, we remove these people, however we. But we cannot stop, keep, we cannot stop talking. We need to keep talking and keep educating our people. I agree with you, Mr. Chooks. We need to mass education. In as much as there's a lot going on in the court, we need to be doing work on the ground as well. 
educating because they don't seem to understand the implications of what's going on. And I hope that people are not buying into the loan that this man has brought because it's a way for them to steal. It's a way for them. The ones, all the money that they spent during the election, it's time for them to make it back. That's what they're doing. It's time for them to collect the money back. So they will look for every loophole possible. And I agree with the person who said that Dangote, whatever that has the oil refinery now, they all have a stake in it. They all have a stake. They want to get the money back that they use for election. Nigeria is still my home. No matter what happens, I'm personally not going to stop talking. Yes, I get overwhelmed sometimes and I get upset and I feel like, can anything ever happen to move this country forward? But I go and I look at my principal, Peter the Rock Ubi. The man is sailing through. You know, nothing seems to phase him. I've never seen a human being like that in my entire life. I've read about heroes. I've read autobiograph autobiographies of, about supposedly powerful men. None compares to Peter Ubi. I'm sorry. He's one in a million. I don't think that the world is going to ever see someone like that, ever. Peter Obi, you, can, you cannot compare him with any leader in the entire... He, he stands tall on his own, separate and apart. Is it the wisdom he uses, the way he communicates? As his communicating is also impacting wisdom. He's also teaching you how to approach certain things, how to deal with your enemies, how to deal with your friends. I've never seen any human being like that. You know, so for me, I'm not surprised by the mess that we have right now in Nigeria. More is going to keep happening. We're going to keep hearing all of this. All we're going to be hearing is how they're going to enrich themselves. And it begs, I wonder what the National Labor Council, is that what they're called? The National Union of Laborers. I think that's it. I can't remember. But you guys understand what I'm saying. They are supposed to be very active right now. Who's, who is the fail situation affecting? It's the laborers. They can't go to work. They have to pay double the price, to go, more than double the price to get to work. Their rent definitely will go up. So that means they're going to be paying two times the amount of, because of petrol. Food is going to go up. Inflation. Now, we're talking Nigeria money is worth not, is compared to the, the dollars and the pounds. It's crazy right now. It's affecting the common people. And let's not forget, there are people who money is not an, money is not an element for them. People who live in the villages, who really rely on the food from the farm in order to survive. They don't spend money like you and I do. They do not. As long as they have food in the house, that's it. Then whatever they have left, they take it to the farm to sell so that they can afford certain things, maybe go to the hospital and stuff like that. I'm telling you, you know, so it's just a sham. We are, we are literally watching Nigeria being swept under. But those of us that remain standing, the obedience, the truth tellers, those who are standing on integrity and principles of Peter the Rock will be, those are the real oppositions in Nigeria right now. We are the only one that's going to push this. I believe that we're the ones that will take down these people. So this is why we cannot stop talking because I can't speak to anything that is going on in this administration right now. I don't even see an administration. There's none. It doesn't exist. There's no administration existing right now. There's none. So we need to focus our energy on, thank you very much, Mr. Um, Elvis, that you, you have a life. You're going to be doing a life from the courthouse. I may not be able to join because there's something I'm working on. So, but I'm very happy to hear that because we need to ensure that we keep our eye focused on the ball. These people are going to throw everything around. They're desperately looking for people to accept the sham that they've put there. They are desperate in it. They come to your comment session and they write all kinds of things. They, they want to make you feel like what you're doing is not. They, they know that they're sitting on falsehood. They know that everything that they're doing is all based on lies. The man with the vision, they are stealing all his ideas, but they never, they cannot take the vision away from the man who owns it. You know, as much as we talk about these people, let's focus on the ball. Peter the Rock will be, 
Ahmed Dati, those two people inspire me so much. So I'm not even, I don't even, I don't even dwell so much on the administration anymore because you and I know it's a lie. What is happening uh, uh, there is a lie, is a total sham. So let's save our energy. Let's go to the grassroots and start talking to people, find ways to start educating the people, go to the farmers, go to, just like people did during the election. We need to, if we need to put money together for logistics reasons, let's all come together and donate and say, okay, you come and give account. You're going to villages, which village, how many people you talk to? How many people will understand with you they talk? All those kind of things. That will, that's what we need to do because it's a continuous fight. We can't give up. You know, somebody said, when you have a dem democracy, you must make sure you do not fall asleep. You, do, you must make sure that you do not um, fall asleep so that it does not slide through your fingers. But I dare say that's what has happened in Nigeria. Democracy, as we know it, has slipped through our fingers because we're not vigilant because of complacency and docility. So we're literally watching our society crumble right before our eyes. But the only thing that's keeping it even standing a little bit tilted is the obedience, the truth tellers, those who believe in integrity and principles. And we need to keep the fire burning. Matter of fact, increase it to the highest. That's all I'm going to say for now. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Thank you very much, uh, my sister Amoye. Thank you. I can see from your voice that uh, you 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 are losing. The, um, should I say you are, you? Are, I don't know. There's a word I want to use. It looks like you are fed up with this whole thing that's happening in Nigeria. But I want to advise you not to not to um, feel like that. I understand it is even. Lots of people don't, don't even come on air anymore. They don't join us anymore because, not because they don't like us. They, many of them are just, they can't take it anymore. I know some of them that talk to me behind the scenes say, oh, I don't even have the energy to join anymore. So I understand. I understand. You know, um, it's, it's so fortunate that everything that is happening, we don't see any result. Look at a man that says something in the morning, the evening is coming back again to say, you know, talk. You know, on you know, on on a camera, so it's, it's it's pathetic. We cannot um continue like this, my people. It's so the thing this. is, Mr. Elvis, it's not so much. I'm not even. It's it's not. I'm not fed up of the situation in Nigeria. It's obvious that that was the way it was going to go. When you have somebody like the sham, the uh fraud. That that I may give to us. It, it, this is all. This all was expected. As a human being, you're going to feel overwhelmed when back to back you keep hearing things coming through from your country that you love, that you grew up in, right? But that doesn't yeah. mean that you you can't act like. Yeah, you know, but I if, said. if if we have to look at it together, look, mm -hmm. just check it from day one. Everything that we've complained about, right? Have we have we seen results? Is no. Before during the time of the campaign. We all join together here. We talk about the drug, uh, whatever, you know, they put them aside. We talk about everything. They put it aside. Now, it's not a president, right? Now, is a president, what we expected him to do now is to deal with the people that, yet, you know, the, the, the satanic people that we are calling out. If you cannot listen to the people, then you, you are there to... to to make life difficult for the people that were against you. Now you're calling on the EFCC chairman suspended, uh, a fellow suspended. These are people that were against you. What happened? Why did you suspend INEC chairman? Because you cannot. Exactly. I you, you cannot. Exactly, you know? Mr. Elvis. So that's the whole point. That's Not why I said there's no we there's nothing to expect from them because we already knew the direction it was going to go now we okay. already knew that these people were in the same boat and okay, they were look, playing look at this look at this my sister now two allegations within 48 hours you know the army were accused of oil theft why this old man confessed that uh his wife the president of the of the uh, court of appeal you know the corruption that she engaged on now none of these two allegations have been dealt with as we speak and the president have left nigeria he's in france right now 
As me, mm-hmm. I talk, in the in the drink better coffee now. They wash us now in with croissant, us, with yes. French croissant. Exactly, he's washing cappuccino. In the wash us now, they say, Look at this, uh, yeah, yeah, people. What are they talking about? I have the country under my feet. So I just pray God help us because the people that are supporting them, encouraging them to do what they are doing is so unfortunate. The beautiful thing about it is that God bless us, especially those of us that live abroad. I don't say God not bless people within Nigeria. Now, now, now satanic government not let the blessing reach on our hand. But we that live abroad, God bless us to that extent that everything that we are enjoying here in abroad, that's what the same satanic government that you or satanic leaders that you are supporting, that's what they run to to come and enjoy with us. Yes. If Tinobu go hospital and I go pay, he go even pay with your money because he's not a president. You know, God may not let anybody with their abroad go hospital. You know, they pay anything. You know, they pay anything. Yes. Because he get the way the country that they design now. You understand? I don't pay for security men to follow me in the UK. But some of you that is listening to me now that is supporting the satanic leaders and the government that is causing you pains. Some of you are doing well. Those of you that is doing well, you have mobile officers stand by with you 24-7, protecting you. Why do you, the gullible ones that doesn't even have anything, who clamor for them? You know, I still pray for you guys because I believe that you, you, you are ignorant or you choose to be ignorant. If you seek tomorrow, you go, go look for money, you beg for money, they go in one day. Even the money, the peanut they pay to you now will not be enough for you. Even though they give you five million, it will not be enough for you to treat yourself. Let me shock you. If they give you 10 million, the day where they give you that 10 million, you don't use that for another thing. If you get house, maybe they build, you want to go quick, go use and complete them. If you get land, you never buy land, or you want to quick, go buy land. If you don't get car, you want to go buy a car. You are not even preparing for your future. So if you fall sick tomorrow, the 10 million is not av- even available to treat yourself, then the same satanic leaders that you'll be supporting will not be there for you. You see? Then you'll not remember people like Nigeria was be talk this thing, no. Ah, he talked this thing. Listen, guys, we, we just want a better country. You cannot expect me to be clapping my hands for satanic leaders, of course, the pains that you and I are facing today. That's what I'm saying. I can't clap for them. If you choose to stupidly be clapping for them, I will not clap for them. Then ask yourself, if you are listening, because I know some satanic people are listening to me right now. Ask yourself, everybody in power right now, apart from your 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 um, biasness, because you, see, you speak your language, or now your papa brother, or now your papa elder brother sister, whatever, anyhow you talk about. Ask yourself, everybody that is currently on the temporary power right now. Did they deserve it? Ask yourself. Then two, can they give you what you want? You. I don't say also. I don't want to say also anymore. Can they give you what you want? Then three, since they swung them in into power, if they pick your phone before, go call them now. They still pick your phone now. <laughs> you never see anything. In case you never tried that one, the people where you call before they pick your phone, when they campaign, go call them now. Whether they'll still pick your phone, that's when you get to know that they are using you to enrich themselves. They are using you to cause division between you and your brothers. Yes, don't trust these people. PDP and APC are the Mr. Problem. Elvis, just quickly, yeah. let me just say this. Um, this is why when you when you when Evil is imposed upon people and they do what they know to do best because people who are, who are evil don't have any visions. They're not transformational in any way, shape or form. So now what did they sabi do now they go they do? Yeah, but at the end of the day, I will still disagree with them because at the end, the, the decision that they, they are taking today to support their favorite, favorite person or apply favoritism to their decision is taking other people's lives. Others are losing their lives based on your selfish uh, 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 decision. 
where you take today? They don't care because that's it's that you know that bodily fluids that's coming out of people. The that that's what they use. That's that's their power. So the more they can get from the people and squeeze out the more the the bigger their whole mission is. Evil it's knows that. only to do evil. It can't know how to do good. A evil person will not get in and just overnight change and just start arresting. They will never arrest the people who will come again. They will never. They will arrest the people they know. And it's for sure because they're all a part of the same group. I'm not surprised by anything that's going on in Nigeria. But what I'm saying is, as you continue to do, as everybody's doing, we we have to keep talking about it and calling it out and putting fire under them, whatever that means, and ensure that we get back what is rightfully ours. Like we Mr. Chuk said, you know. I will say this again. We are going to get it back. Everybody, listen, if you are home listening to me right now, you are doubtful. I'm not here to deceive you. I'm telling you, the way things are going right now, only two things involve. Judiciary do the right thing or choose to go against the people and do the wrong thing. And watch what will, what will happen in Nigeria. Except you choose to be heartless. And the way I'm seeing things right now, I'm not sure the judiciary, the, the, these people handling this case right now, I'm not sure they want to be heartless. I have to say things I raise. Even though I don't have trust to, for anything in Nigeria, but the way I'm monitoring right now, I'm not sure these people will choose to be heartless. But nevertheless, let's see. Now, Nigeria, anything can happen. Thank you very much, everyone. Let's see if Dr. Ken is ready now. Dr. Ken, uh, I beg you, don't talk finish for your other phone. I don't talk finish. Thank I you. Beg, I beg, put her for mute to make somebody has not called in. I beg. Just yes. Just for silence. Or yeah. go put her for your neighbor house. I don't get <laughs> <laughs> I will come bring up for your house on UK. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for at least uh, recognizing me again. You know, this fight with the fighter, I, I'm always very relaxed, like our principal. Because from every angle, when you they fight war, eh? I know you they fight uh, do battle, you they always just check out from different area. Number one, you go look area for food. The enemy they get food. I will go feel win there by starving them from that area. Sometimes you go check area of uh, you know the um, the any area I talked about the hardware side because I'm trying to manage my language and my terms, okay? Uh, so I don't offend this platform. So all this many there are many areas. What I'm seeing from the judiciary, which is the forefront of where we get real strong hand, where we're now. Every day, even tomorrow, everybody just they anticipate. Just like say, Barcelona want to play. Uh, uh, what you go call that? Maybe super ego, for example. You go the expect say Barcelona go win. If they, even though they beat Barcelona, they won't play again. You go feel say they go win. So that thing, that winning spirit, don't they inside us because we we'll see how the thing starts. And since it starts till now, the last or uh, Friday, the thing has been going on a winning direction. And with the way they go, everybody, every legal person, get legal mind around the world where they listen to the thing. They go no say, I neck. Uh, Shetima, APC, uh, Bulaba, all of them, they are lawyers, just they shake. They just they shake. They just they shake like that. They don't get firm ground. They don't get firm point. They will say this thing to crack this, they appointed they bring. Now, wow, now lie. They don't get any point safe to hold. Instead, they will just they waste time. They will just they talk nonsense. So that they go reprim they go even tell them, say, hey, stop that when they do, they go reprimand them. So you go see and say they don't get anything. And the way don't they they open 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 where where it go they hard for one person can say from what here I see you know say this one plus this one so the case is is not is not in your favor then that one are different but let me say something more that if if Nigerians eh, there's a level be say you in business for you to make profits eh Elvis, you must be ready to give some things and take some. Yes, you know, we just get 100 sometimes. If you get the 100, you will come spend some the other one. You'll come at the end of the day, you can't get about $70. Maybe your profit. You can't let you can't eat everything and get them. That is what I the see. We say it go that be the only thing will remain for Nigeria to become to take their position to shake anything we're supposed to be shake, shaking off. 
Now the only time be that which we are talking about show where they go come our mind. Look, all this thing where they happen for Nigeria, where they happen before, before, and the way they happen worse, worst. The reason why they go worst and worst is be say nobody don't ready to do what the person never do or some group of people never do before for Nigeria. We go make the leaders look, they come fear. One one king for Bible, he go fight war. As he go do go make battle like that, he look like that. The Bible say for the story, when the king decide to he own son when he when he when he when he buy his own son for the presence of the people, now they know say this guy, na a terrible guy. So what I'm trying to say is that. If judiciary will be the last hope and they see the city thing very clear now, nah, nah, from the way things day from zero one, courage now, they see the and see the thing, evidence and the case for be is overwhelmingly convincing, which means there is no way you go say uh, for this side. Mm -mm. I neckle, they, 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 they just mean it, they just make I neck look like say, he not know what thing they do, or he know he know what thing they do, and they do one wrong intentionally. So by right, the way they don't nail INEC now, eh? and they expect INEC only concern, I beg, to minimize my jail term. I go confess, make I tell them the whole truth, what happened, so that make them minimize and down. But, oh my God. So that is just what I just did see say. That is the first thing what the see say. They have to, we, we, we go look at. You see that? So okay, but I said that no one may you talk. No, or... don't worry. They cancel that. I don't go. I said I don't do it twice. I have a lot of yeah network. Sorry from you know from across the world. So I bet to this person my resting there. I don't think anybody should be talking to me. So the only thing we say, what they think about the ultimate say that is the aspect of that one. And if them if I neck if this judiciary mess up, we expect say at this time the Nigerian people will be the ogre we employ everybody where the government they serve. With it because Nigerians, the, the 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 government people, eh, they not understand. Say they be servants. Now make me they say Obi need to go there to go reduce their salary because you know go feel they earn money more than me. Why employ you? If they don't make government, eh, if they don't make government, the cost of government they at that equilibrium, that same level with civil servants. I go know whether people go they kill. They, I mean, sorry, people go to buy people, people go to fight, they do all kind of a thing to get position. If you say you can't serve me, to serve anybody, it's supposed to be saying that something will be say it is sacrificial. In those days, when somebody say, they say, God, they call you, they go to cry. The family go to say, hey, my brother won't come go be pastor now, you can't suffer the way pastor need feel they get anything, they go just there, they go there for church just like that. Who's kind of be this now? God, they go to cry. But now, because of say, one or two things don't enter, things don't change color. Everybody say God must call them. And if they wait, wait, God, then they call them, then they call themselves because they see say benefit. They now the same way politics don't enter. If they don't reduce those things, can't be like the way they for this my country with they for what they call Canada. Eh? The mayor, mayor with uh, uh, police, they receive money pass mayor for year. Police, the salary pass the mayor. Their, their salary even pass some put it for parliament for PM, parliament, MP, I mean, member. Because now they take the real risk, protect the whole thing, do everything. So the thing we say that is for that side. Nigerians go enter to tell them, say, now we employ one now. They go come show them, say, look, these streets will be so that they drive past. We plenty pass one now, number one. And we will tell one, I say, we will drive one now from that office. Then they go see what they call civil disobedience. Not the, you know, the break law. It's called civil disobedience. You go enter streets, occupy their office. Enter Aso Rock. If Asare Dogubo, that person, I, I was so, I, 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 I just see say things just they come down to the lowest level of respect and integrity for that, for that Nigeria. For me to see somebody that is not tagged, somebody will be say is not, is not in any capacity at all in governance. Enter Aso Rock. Sit down. Behind the coat of arm, behind the 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 talk, you know what I mean. The time where Tokubo, the way Asari, they talk with that place, it be like somebody say they talk within inside the presidency. They talk behind powers behind them. In the address, 
Nigerian military as a whole. And the North, you bring that guy, come outside. They, they respect like somebody be say they office where they only get immunity. He, he, he reduced, I don't know whether that's true or not, but I expect the military to come, come out robustly, come say, look, they want to arrest that guy. But they're not going to feed one because they don't read the whole line, say, the person where this where make this guy get confidence, go enter inside our number one, number one citizen environment. Now from then I begin to this, make all chances. Those all chances where that guy they talk, it's just be like saying that when president they talk, they are kiss people. See the way they last they talk. See the way they talk with the baby. And I just I just say this is nonsense. As I look at it, I say, this now this is complete nonsense. But that one day aside, for 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 Tinubu to address people, all these things when they do, some people call them big English shenanigans. Some people call them for English like deception. All of them joined together, correct? Because all these arrests of uh, Eme Phile, Bawa, who again, when they want to call, anybody will be say if they arrest for now. Look, all those are just a way to con deal with the poor BCA a day for your mind since. So this person, I go deal with him. He touched the toe of one of my person, and that my person, and my person hold me, make me enter. The person come tell me, say, deal with that guy for me because he touched my toe or he touched my interest. If, let's like, say, this person will be say, thief somebody, mandate, eh? Balabus, Bolaba say, in want to show, say, in, a, in don't repent. Make a put that out because they know, say, they know where from come. In don't repent. In don't change. So, among all of the changes when they get now, to fight corruption, say, go fight corrupt people. Where thing go start from? I know, say, the last two, if he start for himself, he go, he no go fit, he go damage him. So it go start for make it right, start random. For, make it start for the one in near himself. People like MC Oluomo, eh? That person first, if I address that issue, then if I can't travel, go meet someone like Bubu. Say all those money we people they call, things when they happen, this money that everything. If for you see, say I may feel like go there, go talk by himself without say Buhari no, you know, approve him. There are so many things that I'm looking, but the only thing we say. I'm only waiting for this case, the way they progress, they go. Once you go the way they go and end that way, all of us go to last our anger with our mind. Apart from that, I'm looking towards seeing the youth of the country to come out and exercise and display absolute and seamless civil disobedience in the whole of the street of Nigeria. And that is the only time. And believe me, somebody must be deleted. If you want to see a new Nigeria, eh? Some people must be deleted so that you go miss it. That is the only way you go feel reach your target. If you say no, nobody go get deleted, my brothers and sisters. It, right. it go, it, it's impossible. It's impossible for now. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ken. Thank you very much uh, for your submission. Uh, I still believe we can have a better Nigeria. Um, you know, very soon, very soon, true, Mr. Peter will be. And uh, all these. Because you can see the agitation that we all are trying to stop all this while they are gradually coming back home. You know, look what is already happening now in the north, for example. You know, the same north, now it's that time now. So what are we talking about? Let's move on. Thank you. Um, let me go to... Uh, Mr. Elvis, please, can I they are, they are move or not? We are, Sorry, walking, Mr. we are walking with time now. Uh, oh. I'm going to just corner quickly. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to say to Mr. Uh, 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 is it Mr. Ken, Dr. Ken or so, that it's not, we, we've done that before. And every time, now the young people, they don't buy commons for grant. Exactly. We cannot be doing the same thing and expect different exactly. results. This, this there same, are so this, many ways not, now. They're not they die. Exactly. There are so many ways that, are, there are so many tools that are very effective now that we can use. But the judiciary, the, eh? Oh my, sorry, but this is really boiling. If we use the judiciary, which is the normal, it's, this should be a civil, it's an advanced and civilized way. This is the peak of it, the judiciary, the law, the court. Right. If you apply this law and they are still using this, their craftiness and this old age trick to still subdue eh? and make us to be at the bottom so that we can waste our life at the bottom. Do you know, say, everybody within this platform, since we they born you, when you open your eye, you know, that the way Nigeria deny it, they don't worst. Since we they born you, when you did like this time, now everybody within this platform. Even the uh, person, uh, 
No, I, I, un I understand, I Doctor. Okay, wait. Till my point be say many other things. Then when we feed do to 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 bring down the system. Apart there's from so the many part. things apart from putting the, uh, uh, our bodies on the line. There's so many. Like now, nah, if really this we serious after this court, this whole court shenanigans when they yes. go on. So yes, many people go pack. Many people, many people just go pack their car for the airport. Everywhere go full. Pack for talk, so. every every state for Nigeria. If people when they walk, they'll see that for us no work. Everything will just come to a halt for that country. You, you I guarantee you, power, something will happen. You just said this All power right. drunk guy. He go come come off for seats. Thank, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's move out of this. Doctor Ken, now white people country. Doctor Ken, Doctor Ken, Doctor Ken, Doctor Ken, Doctor Ken. Please, please respect yes, the, thank you. the time. You know, I don't have time anymore. Thank you very much. Uh, let me call. Uh, guys, press on the like button. Let me call on. Give us a mandate. Give us a mandate. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I will give you five minutes to talk to us. Sir. Good evening to you. Uh, good evening, sir. Um, good evening to everyone in the panel. To the fathers, happy fathers days to you. Um, uh, greetings. Uh, may your days continually increase, live long. Happy Happy Father's Day, my lovely brother. Happy uh, same to you, my brother. Um, enjoy yourself. Make sure you relax, rest, and then let Madam cook a unkwobi or a bun of soup or a way do for you. Relax and eat, and then recuperate and let's keep the battle going on no retreat no surrender to the ladies to the mothers on the call we greet you now without you now no father without you now no nation thank you for the homes that you carry and all of the good works that you do we appreciate you now well i i, I think um nigeria actually needs a cleaner Nigeria needs a cleaner urgently. Nigeria needs a cleaner urgently and urgently. I can only pray if God can choose me as a cleaner. Or maybe choose Mr. Elvis or Dr. Sim as a cleaner. Nigeria needs a cleaner urgently. The state of Nigeria cannot be. You, 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 there is no words, honestly, for me to describe the state of Nigeria right now. So some of you that supported Tinumbu and so, so some of you that perpetrated the evil during this election, and you think you've done the best. Someone like Mahmoud Yakub, you have just added to the suffering of Nigerians and including yourself and your family. Nigeria need a, needs a cleaner urgently and urgently and urgently. God, please send us a cleaner. Lord, please send us a cleaner. In the likes of Nehemiah, in the likes of David, Lord, please send us, raise a cleaner for Nigeria. How can a hood man it is something you speak and forgot that he spoke on a live TV. How can we allow the talk? But I'm not surprised because the one that said he won the election, even though he did not win it, is a drug baron, can allow a thug to sit behind, to sit in front of the coat of harm. And I, I think I said it yesterday that the the seat of power is desecrated for ordinarily allowing that evil to happen. The state of the nation cannot be described by any word. And so all I can say is that, Lord, please raise up a cleaner for Nigeria. The suffering, the pain is much. In play two jaws. Just today, again, people being being taken down. And so people are carrying their bariga, they are carrying their clothes, and they feel that they are on top of the world. Lord, please raise a cleaner for Nigeria. Please, Lord, raise a cleaner for Nigeria. 
We have a case in court. Tribunal is looking good. Mr. Peter Obi is maintaining decorum and leading us well. But even as that, Lord, please send us or raise a cleaner for Nigeria. Because scripture said that when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. But when the evil ones rule, the people mourn and weep. Lord, please raise a cleaner for Nigeria. And so tribunal, I will not beg you to do the right thing. You know what to do. You know Peter will be won this election. Most of you voted for Peter will be, if not all of you in, in, the, law, in the law, voted for Peter will be. I will not beg you to do the right thing. You know the right thing to do by giving the mandate to the owner of the mandate. Lord, please send us a cleaner for Nigeria. Nigeria needs a cleaner urgently, Lord. Please send us a cleaner. We cannot live in the midst of plenty and our people suffer. We cannot have oil, gold, lithium, lithium natural resources, even food. In Bauchi, you can grow food on, on rock. In Bauchi, I served there for one, for one year. Lord, please raise a cleaner for Nigeria. We need a cleaner urgently, Lord. The evil ones will not allow the owners of the, of the, of the nation to relax or to enjoy their nation. Have you asked yourself, people like Jakba, why Jakba is so high? If all of us jack back come up for Nigeria, then Nigeria becomes a, a, a country in the hands of the foreigners. Lord, please raise the cleaner for Nigeria, Lord. We need a cleaner. This evil, this wickedness is, is, is too much. You have a president that doesn't care about, it, about his own people because he's not, he's not the actual president. He's still a mandate. Because Mahmoud Yaqub gave it to him, and they can do and parade evil. Lord, please raise a cleaner for Nigeria urgently. I'll leave it here. But let this ring in your mind. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, my brother. Thank you uh, for your submission. Guys, I uh, beg, make on help us press on the like button. Press on the like button. I appreciate you all. I can see more people coming in right there. Oh, guy, I can see you as well. Thank you very much for joining us. God bless you all, Destiny. Thank you very much for joining us. God bless you. All right. I believe everybody on the panel. Okay. The only person left now before I turn around is uh, uh, Ginger Breadman. Ginger Breadman, thanks for joining us. You have five minutes. Happy Father's Day to you, my brother. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to you, Ninja Watch, and all the fathers and prospective fathers uh, on the platform. May your days be increased. May the showers of blessings be upon us all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I heard uh, this man, Mr. Buka, Buka 2, that's the name of a restaurant. He has uh, taken down the statement or the confession he made. Uh, I'm not surprised because at the time he was making that statement, he was overwhelmed by the spirits which opened his boca cavity to spill out the truth and nothing but the truth. So going back to say otherwise, we know that he's only trying to cover, you know, the secrets which he has uh, exposed under the auction of the higher power. It is left for nigerians you know to do the needful and that is why i cannot overemphasize the need for a laborer a cleaner abattoir whichever name you want to use nigeria need that as soon as possible you see I heard or I learned that uh, the Nigerian Bar Association are moving petitions because that man's statement is an indictment, it's a direct indictment to the judicial arm of government of Nigeria. We all know that uh, the judicial arm of government is not independent, but uh, we can hear real life confession 
from uh, a purported, uh, you know, uh, affiliate by virtue of uh, the husband of one of the justices in the second court, highest court of the land. So the NBA, I think they are moving a petition. I don't know. I I I I I came across that. I don't have the details of that. But Mr. Evans, you might uh, know much about it. But uh, they are they are they are trying to to make sure that uh, you know that uh, the judgment that came you know uh, uh, under the supervision of that woman is being reviewed. And uh, I, I hope you know something can come out of it. With regards to What's his name? Asari Dokubo. You know, very, very good observation everyone has made that he was actually addressing uh, Nigeria from the presidential uh, conference uh, room at the seat of the president with the coat of arm. You see, Nigeria has been taken over by criminals. Nigeria has been taken over by mafias and what you are seeing playing out right now is because allegedly just like our principal have said that the people that have been stealing the nigerian oil are the people in power and the machineries that they have been using to do that are the military allegedly and this military it's like they are all they are part of the cabal siphoning the, the, the oil of Nigeria. So what you are seeing playing out right now by my own you know analysis is that the mafia, which is uh, the president select and his uh, allies, like uh, Asari Dokubo, they are mafias. So what they want to do now, there's a power tussle on who we now control the stealing of that oil we have to take it out of this uh, cabal military cabal and make sure that you know our people the the mafias take over that bunkery and that is why you hear outside the people talking about he has men he has boys that's what is going on nigeria is uh, transitioning from the 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 the, the period whereby uh, the cabals from the fulani oligarchs you know stole from the to now when uh, uh mafias drug cartels want to take over but you see it is a good thing that all these things are playing out it's a good thing that nigerians are talking in the space of one one year you can imagine how informed and uh, interested nigerians have been you know to this uh the politics that is going on in that country and that tells me that, you know, it, it, uh, the uh, change is very, very fast approaching. But uh, that change might uh, not come fully without the application of some certain kind of force which will come from the people. And sorry to say, red liquid might flow. It needs to flow, you know. And uh, I don't want to go deeply into that. See what is happening in Lagos. It is like, uh, will I use the word it is like? A particular section of this country, the Igbos, are targeted. They are promulgating laws to retrieve land, landed properties that were duly legally acquired by people from the eastern part of the country. And when I say people from the eastern part of the country, I like to make it clear that make no mistake as long as you are not from the the west you're not yoruba speaking they look at you as all right thank you from the east and that was five minutes already done huh? it don't pass uh, i know they see the time but i'm only you know can show me time a spiritual yes time it don't pass. okay well um the spiritual view they they they, they, they in charge <laughs> no 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 yes. no that no R I'll random I'll say, random Okay, let me round up. So uh, what I'm trying to say is that let us be united as a people. I know that uh, the people that are promoting this divide in the country are very few from the West. And it is now time 
that those people who are not complicit to speak out because failure to speak means that you are part of uh, you know the agenda and i'm talking to the likes of this uh Obas, the likes of Olesho in car and all those. If you know that what they are doing is wrong, you got to speak out. If you don't speak out, you are complicit. And then when the fire go born, it will consume all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, um, Jaja Breadman. God bless you. Okay. I would like us to um, do a, um, a final uh, submission right now. Thank you very much, everybody, for your time, for your patience with us. Please continue to press on the like button. Now, for those of you that have been with us since, I really do appreciate every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would like to go back to Madam Ellen from Nigeria. I am surprised, Madam Ellen, you stick with us throughout this whole broadcast today, I, I, you know, all the way from Nigeria. Thank you very much. Please, I would like to come back to you first. Talk to us. The final submission, five minutes. Okay, Mr. Elvis, thank you so very much once again. You will start, start the time, or you know, the show is eight minutes to the talk. Hello. <laughs> You're a good man. And every time um, I have the opportunity to stay like this, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate it. God bless you. Mr. Elvis, the, the truth. Hello? Sorry. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Mr. Elvis, you know, the truth is, um, when I watched um, Asari the uh, day before yesterday or thereabout, I suspect there's some game they are trying to play. I think they are trying to send a message to intimidate, um, if not the judiciary, then the military somehow, because they want to. We can't hear you, Mother Helen. Are you there? Oh, I think you've been attacked. I don't know. You are muted. We can't hear you. Mother Helen, I need to call up. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, we lost you for a while. Please, uh, you know, go ahead. Oh, okay, sorry. I think the network just got interrupted. Okay, so like I was saying, I think they are trying to either intimidate some, they are trying to send a message, either because, you, you remember before now, um, the president select had come out to make some comments about the judiciary to do the needful so they don't destabilize the democracy of the country. And obviously those people are not, um, I think they are not uh, interested in what in that intimidation. So maybe they want to come out and use this young man who has forgotten where he comes from, who has forgotten the sufferings of his people. This is somebody that years before, years back, had you know come out to fight the same system. Obviously, he was fighting for his own pocket to have his own um, place in the looting. Because that's what it appears to me. So now that they were, he was not able to get the judiciary to, you know, play or dance to his tune, he's not using this young man to come out and intimidate people and say all the things that he said the other day. But the truth is, Nigeria has come thus far. Nigeria has, you know, Nigeria has moved from that place where you know, anybody can just come and do what they like and go scot-free. A lot of things has happened. So I know that somehow I have the confidence that the judiciary will do the right thing. The evidence is so overwhelming. It will be, it will be shameful that they will see what they will see and they will, you know, have all this information and at the end of the day, they will rule to, you know, favor the thieves. Because these are criminals, and if they allow, if we allow these people to take over power for the next four years, I don't know where this country will be. Honestly, I don't know what will happen to this country if Nigeria will still be in existence. Honestly, and then for the people who are, you know, coming out to still insist that 
the a, a particular a tribal a, a particular tribe should you know be punished and then you know for no crime or for no crime they for, for no crime at all i don't understand because for you to say you want to revoke and then resell something that you had sold somebody before now what about your people who are in those people's lands because you won't tell me that the Yorubas are not, uh, the Yorubas don't travel, they don't leave Lagos or they don't live in other people's, um, you know, uh, places. There are Yorubas in the Ibo land, there are Yorubas in the South South, there are Yorubas everywhere. So what happens to them? And they are, these people somehow probably have their, their businesses in these places. So what happens to them? If this will also decide to say your people should go, and then they begin to, everybody begins to pull out, you know, and go, I mean, everybody begins to behave like you. What happens to the country? If that's the case, then why are we even together? Why won't you just, okay, let these people go? Why won't you just say, okay, there is no need for Nigeria. Let's just split this, you know, place and then let everybody go and have their own, uh, their own thing and do their own thing. I don't understand. Mr. Elvis, my time is up, so I, I don't want to talk much. Thank you very much for what you do. God will continue Thank to you. bless you. Thank you. God bless you, Madam Ellie. I really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous encouragement. God bless you. All right. Uh, let me come to, um, uh, let me go to Augustine. No, Augustine, I don't know. Okay, let me come to you. You've been waiting for so long. Augustine, please talk to us. <coughs> I think uh, um, during my earlier listening, I think I, I didn't quite uh, touch on uh, eh, if it escaped my memory again. I didn't quite touch on uh, was it this Asare Dokobo issue? Yes, I remember. I remember. Um, so, you know, you know, you know, okay, I'll give you 10 minutes. I'll give you 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. I remember. You know, they say best of the fifth same feeder flocks together. Ah, uh, order, see, order, order. Ten minutes. I neck no rigam. Just kidding. Go ahead, sir. Uh, okay. So <laughs> I'm in court already. It's okay. So uh, I, I get evidence. So the thing is, uh, um, you know. Asare, it's not really that he visited that so rock that is the key is the trouble. Now we are in seat, come the yan that uh, nonsense. That is, you know, I know he must have taken photograph when he go, he go tell them say, look at where I went to see the president. <laughs> I look at I look this Nigeria is fast becoming a theater of the absurd, but normally I don't usually do Adai Kaibra and Thomas Jefferson. I can't be dwelling on the past. The history of the past, the, the dream of the future is better. Rather, there are a lot of clean up, like uh, somebody suggested, will be uh, P2B we do when it comes on board. This issue of Nigerian crude oil, it is only then we will we we know the extent of what is going on. All this Asare talk to Tinubu, Tinubu talk to Asare behind the door. You don't know what is happening. You know, nobody can say, you don't really can say, eh? Nobody, Tinubu talked to Asari, Asari talked to Tinubu. Then they close the door, come out, one shake hand, climb one podium. They they make noise, then go back to the creek, collect in check. You see, all these things, this uh, thumb, uh, you, you scratch my back, I scratch your back, all this nonsense will stop. Let me let, let's say, let me put it this way. Now, they are suspending, like somebody says, suspension just they everywhere. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know this uh, EFCC chap? Is it Bawa? Go and check. Was it 2022? Should be. Or 2021 ending. There was a one headline I saw. Bawa was putting Tinubu that is corrupt. It's under investigation. And look at what is happening. So that case is gone. And because of the type of press we, ha we had, they never mentioned it throughout the campaign. That is to tell you how evil Nigerian journalists are. If there is anybody to suspend, it should have been INEC. But INEC can never be suspended, like people said earlier. It cannot. 
That's why all this Asari Dokobo. In fact, why he invited Asari Dokobo, not really for that thing. He must have sent him a message on what to go and do in the creek. There are a lot of things, only that some of us, we, it, will, it, is, it is practically impossible for us to read what had transpired between those two criminals. Man, Tinubu, like I had, or allegedly, let me put it this way, because this government, everything is allegedly, has gone to France. Buhari during his time used to be UK. Tinubu has gone to France, probably on a Guinea diplomatic passport. When you go there, they go for treatment. Maybe you go there, they load them with different types of steroids to sustain him for the next maybe is one week, I mean, or six weeks. I think it's six weeks when he since he came back. So all, how, for how long can we continue like this? You know, now Shetima just cook, keep calm. You know, we never hear Shetima. Remember, that is the Boko Haram, the person who get the franchise for Boko Haram in Nigeria, for which people have forgotten. Now you hold the franchise. So Shetima go to watch. Tinubu go come out. You know, go transmit power. And they know, and because if he does, now the, the National Assembly will receive a letter or whatever. Say, so, they've, so this cannot be easy because they know what is going on. That's why sometimes I have a sense of foreboding. But then when I remember what is panning out at the tribunal, <coughs> it gives me so much faith, so much hope. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, I tend to wonder, I said, it is true, Nigerian judiciary is corrupt. But I've never had a case, I've never, probably the first in the history, in which this type of overwhelming intim and intimidating evidence will be produced before the eyes of the world. And you tell me that the case will go the other way. I refuse to agree to that. Yes, APC, the judges are APC judges, paid by them, do everything. I agree. But I've never seen somebody, some, well, somebody wrote me from Nigeria, said instead of, instead of a P2B, lawyers to go there, they said they were there just offloading coolers of rice every day. Cooler, different coolers of rice. White rice, no be jollof, man, no, white rice every day. Meaning that every state, look at the paperwork. So the evidence is intimidating and it's overwhelming. I doubt it is true our judges are corrupt, but I doubt after seeing all this, even with the drama, because sometimes, who knows, somebody might still come out and uh, make a, you know, in a period of catharsis now, after all, the Bukachua man has done his own. Though he's trying to take it back, but he cannot swallow it anymore. So it's impossible because the likes of Ulisa Wakoba have commented on it. And you can't tell me that Ulisa Wakoba SN cannot interpret what this guy said in the at the floor of the Senate before making his uh, I mean his own submission. So I do not see I'm having a feeling that somebody somewhere we want to say, let me say the truth, that this was how it happened. Because the evidence is overwhelming. After all. If we, even if we are looking at anything, the real confession was the day the INEC lawyer cross examined the cross exam is it cross examine or re examine? I mean, exa yes, it's cross examine the, the PDP witness asking him, Why do you, you what did article you know, article score the 15 percent of the total vote cast in Abuja? He said, Yes, he said, and then you want us to declare him winner when he didn't get 25 percent. The guy say he knows, but remember the person you declared winner did not have up to that. You see, he said, that is not what I'm asking you. Answer the, answer the question. You see, that is when the case has been made. And I'm, I'm happy it happened before the judges. So it will be a, a great wonder of the world if in the end they say, they say anything behind all of them anonymous decision. I think there are five that P2B won the election based on the strength of the evidence before them. Look at the paperwork. Look at all that that will be retrieved through Beavers. Even with INEC non-cooperation, now Mahmoud, who knows where he is, might be hiding somewhere he's on the run. And I understand, I think I read somewhere that the uh, Amazon website, some AWS, the company said they subpoena, the um, uh, Labour Party is inviting them to come or something like that, they will be forced to give evidence and something like that. So this is a very interesting case and there should be a, well, can I say legal classicals? I'm not a lawyer, but 
somehow Lagos um, uh, law students should be able to understand it. There is no way with the evidence available. I mean, you can't do Nigeria, Juro. There's nothing to say about this. They took their time with all the sands everywhere. In fact, they, they, I wish this is the time that if you are not even a sand, you can come close. So what they are doing gives me hope, irrespective of what is panning out between Asari and the Tinubu. I'm not interested. When a criminal meets a criminal, you know, something good can never come out of it. Is it not this same Asari that we be talking anyhow when Jonathan was in power? Now look at the nonsense he's talking about. Look at him. And then people like this are those you see in Asso Rock. They will climb the podium and then be spewing nonsense, all in the name of uh, I don't know what they want to do. If Asari indeed love his people, Niger Delta people, why didn't he cite one or even if it's pure water business so that those people will be getting something or help to give them a water treatment plant so that they can drink clean water instead of benzene polluted water. Yet people will say all these things, people will paper over it and then be saying something. So please, in, in all, everybody should sort of brace up. Tomorrow is another day in court. Something good must surely come out. We cannot be doing all these things for nothing. God brought people to be out for a purpose. He is the one to salvage Nigeria and he's doing it based on the evidence. There's everywhere is calm. Nobody is protesting. People are not making, the, I mean, uh, being on the street like they had expected. So nobody will say they were threatened. No threat anywhere. People are just keeping quiet and then following them in the hope that the evidence will speak for itself. After all, law is based on evidence. You convince anybody with the evidence, all the, all the evidence they are tendering has been accepted as exhibit. So, which means they are going to look into it and it's relevant. Not, none, none was discounted or discarded. Okay. So, I don't, so I, don't, I do not see the reason why judge, judgment should not go our way. Please, let's not be discouraged. Although this is a season of anomaly, like showing Kame say, but... You know, let's not Thank be discouraged. What, whatever is panning out should be in our own favor. Thank you. Thank you, Augustine. God bless you, sir. Thanks for your final submission right there. Uh, I'm not sure if Mama Aisho is available to give a final submission. Uh, Mama Aisho, when you're ready, just let us know. Um, so let me quickly go to uh, Busy Brains. Busy Brains, uh, please give us your final submission, madam. Five minutes. Thank you very much. Okay, she's not available right now. Okay, let me go on now to, I have uh, Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken, please give us your final submission, five minutes. Thank you. Okay, if you, you, anybody that's not available, I will not give it back to you, I'm sorry. Let me go to um, Black Panther. Black Panther, thank you very much for joining us. Please talk to us, sir. You have eight minutes. Oh, thank God I have eight minutes. I'm not going to spend up to that eight minutes. And I want to thank um, you, Mr. Evis. Thank you. Happy thank Father's God. Day, sir. Uh, sorry. Happy Father's Day. Ah, hey, see me see trouble. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers here. And I wish you all more grace. Thank God for a good life and continue to be a good father as we all are. I want to thank um, everyone out there that has been speaking truth to power. I want to thank you all. Don't give, don't, don't listen to all these shenanigans happening. We should all focus our eyes on the, on the crown. That is my, that is where I derive my strength from. So, all these shenanigans happening now, I don't give a damn about them. But before I proceed further, I would like to thank those that are on the comment section. Thank you all. Happy Father's Day to you all too. Thank you all for doing a great work. This is what we want to do. When we brainstorm, we prefer solution. We are talking to the public, we are talking to Nigeria, and we are talking to the judiciary themselves. They are all, yeah, their eyes are focused on Ninja Watch. So we know what is happening. I want to talk, speak on Asari Dokubo. Look, Asari Dokubo, all of you, that man is just a locomotive noise maker. He is not, he's, I mean, I don't see him 
as somebody that will, that is that is so so uh, tough in terms of holistically what is happening in Nigeria because there are so many there are so many job breakers in the Niger deltas that are there. It's not only Asari Dukubo. Asari Dukubo is not the commander chief of any uh, all the militants in the uh, Niger Delta. He's just holding a section of it. So if he brag himself, let him go to the creek. Let's see. So he should just we should just put him aside. He's just trying to get his uh, his own crumbs for the master's table. That's what he's trying to get because he has been sidelined for long. So we don't expect anything good to come from such a a, 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 a locomotive empty brain that doesn't even know anything, spilling all his mouth. He, mar he married so many wives, have 200 children. What does that got to? How, would that, how does that affect the Nigerian as a person? And how does it even affect even the country? You have, you have be, if you like, get 1,000 children. What is my business about that? That is your personal issue. You are looking for money to feed your children. You shouldn't come to the public and make a mess of yourself. Your children should be, should be, should be ashamed of you. What is so special in Asso Rock that you went there and you have gabu gabu and sit down on something, sit down on in a, in a, on a national platform, messing up your own, your own country, your own country, talking about the military. I'm not surprised because the military themselves they are in they are in colonial with him. They are, they do business together when they when they go to the creek. They go to the creek together, so they know themselves. So that's why he has that confidence to speak concerning the military. And all what he's just looking for is just a contract for him to, you know, get some money to feed his um, his kids that don't have any directions, I believe. So what well, we, we we all should focus on on the court case that is coming on, and uh, I thank God it's going on fine. I want to speak on that, um, Senator. You see. When I heard it this morning, when I heard, when I went on the internet, I heard it. I laugh, laugh, laugh. My wife was asking, "Why am I laughing?" I said, ah, "I'm laughing because I expected such a thing to happen." Oh, I, I was, I, I did not say so. All of them always do that, so that is not, um, not, um, ex you know, I, I, I not, I'm not, I'm not so surprised such things should come up from the political class. All of them are all, all, they are all the same thing. So we don't expect and. Uh, they are, they are, they are, their days are numbered. All I believe their days are numbered. And at the, at the set time, the set time is now, and they are going to, you know, find their way out. And I want to say this also. When we are all crying for, we are crying, we are saying the Lord should send um, a cleaner. This is a cleaner, you said, a cleaner. The Lord will not send a cleaner. Because the Lord has finished all. He has finished it. Remember when he said on the cross of Christ, say it is finished. The totality of Christ, all the body has been has been he has suffered for all, so it is finished. So there's nothing like a Lord send us. Uh, we are not in the Moses days. It's not like Lord send us a helper. No, the helper is among us. The helper is among us. At the set time, he will rise. The Lord will not send us anybody. It's already among us. Remember when we were shouting, oh, send up a good leader. We didn't know that the good leader was among us and Peter will be rise up. So we should, we should just hold on, hold that side. The Lord, the, the, the cleaner is among us. So the cleaners will hear the clarion call and it will rise at a set time with the Lord are destined it to, to rise up. So that is it. So in all and all, I just want to thank everybody because me and me i'm enjoying the old shenanigans i'm just enjoying because they are just this they are just playing their last ball game when peter will be entered all of them will just be running like ants with their with their express jet they'll be flying out flying out and the ones that are left will just come it'll be just tell them hey bring 70 percent of your money and the rest they can they can open company that is what we want to see so all these uh, aside the Kubo, all of them will be exposed. All of them will be. They will run. Forget about all those. All these creek, creek, creek. They don't. If you've been to the creek, there's nothing special there. They are. They are pirates. They are like pirates. They go on the sea. They do some. They steal and they thief. That's what they do. That they are like pirates. So the pirate. They, if you go to in Somalia, you see in Somalia and some other 
You see the pirates there, what they do. They are the same thing with what Asadi Dukobo is doing. So there's no difference. They are not freedom fighters. They are not fighting for any Niger data or whatever. Asadi Dukobo was suspended from the Niger data youth forum. He was suspended because of his shenanigans and his, 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 his bullying of people as if he's, he's the goddess of the world to now oversee the humans that are on the ground. It was suspended, so it's not relevant. That place is free for all. If you have everything, you can also come up and say you are you are a, you are one lieutenant, you are a fighter too. So they are all pirates. They go and steal on the high sea. That's what they do. They exchange they exchange some stuff for we for weapon. That's what they do. There's nothing special about them. So when they say they have all the weapon, they don't have any damn thing. They are privileged to hold some certain kind of weapon. That's all. That, that's all. So they, they are not special. If the military is the mili our military can take them once hands down. There's nothing if the, when the fighter jet went inside, they all they, they, they knew what happened to them. So all those things it's just that the Nigerian government are just playing pari passo with them. That is why we are seeing them like that. But all along, I want us to be focused on because I'm not moved by all this rubbish I'm seeing. I want us to be focused on. The, the court case. Let our mind be there. Let us, if we the, the ones that are praying, let them pray towards that. And the way that are speaking, let us continue to speak towards that. And we'll get what we want. And Mr. Obi will come to clean up the mess they've created. Thank you, Mr. Najawash. Everybody, just 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 be happy in you, and don't be stressed out with what they are doing. Don't be stressed out. It is it's it's, it's bound to happen because they they desecrated the land and they've done all sort of things. They, like our vice president said, he said, what have they not done to the Nigerian people? So what have they not done? All you know, these are just peanuts. Right. They've done the worst. So Thank we should you. just keep focus. Let's just keep focus and keep the flag and get the crown out. All these people will get out of the scene. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria. Thank you, uh, my brother, Blanc Panther. God bless you, sir. Guys, make a press on the like button. You know, we are still here. I post the press on the like button before we round up. Uh, let me quickly move on to... Um, uh give us a mandate please five minutes give us your final submission sir, if you are there yeah final submission um well i think for me when we talk about all the evils that they are that they are playing now it should raise up some urgent um um some urgent call and um the reason why you, you raise those alarm is because you don't want this evil to continue. You don't want this um, nonsense and desecration that they are perpetrating to continue. Because in the issue of Nigeria, you've not seen it like this before. Even Buhari, and I'm not trying to give Buhari any, any accolade. No, he didn't do anything. This is just the part two of Buhari. And so these guys must, uh, we need to call them out and make calls. Like you said, I mean, if the cleaner is among us, if you hear my submission, Lord either send us one or raise one for us. And if it's among us, let them just stand up on time and, and do this old job because this evil cannot continue. Has it occurred to you guys that subsidy was taken away and there is no palliative for subsidy? Subsidy was taken away even if there was money budgeted for June to the end of June. There is. There is. There's a palliative? What's the palliative? Sorry, don't go so rock, take it. Asari don't go as a rock taking. <laughs> oh, okay. You dare hear, you dare hear the talk of palliative. Go meet them for so rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> something was taken down. No palliative, nothing. That means people are buying. <laughs> and it's not fun. It may sound funny, but it, it's, not, it's not funny. That means people are earning 30,000. And they are paying more than 30,000 to even go to work. This is evil. 
these guys have no plan. And like I said, Tunumbu has no will. He has no will to do good. The guy cannot do good. And it's not a cause. He just cannot do good. And so if there's a, if there's a need for an urgent call for this thing to be speed, to, to be expedited, that call needs to be made. Because this is like you're putting people, the people into, into trouble. You took, away, you took away subsidy and no palliative. And you can easily fly to France to go take care of your, of your, of your health condition while Nigerians suffer. How many doctors we even have left in Nigeria? How many doctors we have left? No job. Security is gone. Graduate are, even, I mean, like somebody was saying, educational sector is being, is being destroyed. The center of education is, being, is, 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 is brought down in Nigeria. So this whole thing cannot be, cannot be allowed to continue. And judiciary, I will say personally, like I keep saying, judiciary, I am not begging you to do the right thing. You know the right thing to do. Mr. Peter Obi won this election. So you do the right thing by, by pronouncing Peter Obi as a president. You know, all of you know. Chukatua or Bukachua just said it. How he will talk to his wife to influence judiciary to swing the end of the 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 the, 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 the judge's decision so judiciary do the right thing you know mr peter will be won his election the claim he, he, you know 25 percent of abuja is enough we shouldn't be spending this whole day this whole month deciding this is 25 percent of abuja is enough to knock out this whole thing from the court Peter will be won his election squarely. The suffering is enough. The pain is enough. Do the right thing by declaring His Excellency Peter Gregory will be GCFR as a president. Enough of the secretion and evil in the land. Thank you, Mr. Elvis Ahiud. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Okay, uh, Ginger Breadman, please give us your five minutes. Okay, you are not there. Let no, 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 Naja Watch, I'm here. All right. Naja Watch. Can you hear me? Yes, five minutes. Thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Yes, I want to go back to my previous uh, submission concerning what is uh, happening in Lagos. Because I foresee the onset of a serious problem in that country. A country where some group of people will begin to promulgate laws that says certain group or certain people do not have the rights to possess landed properties in a particular region, in a country that is supposed to be a federation, whereby the constitution has made it possible for anybody to choose where to live in that country. So if this is not controlled, if it's not nipped at the butt, my brother, this is the forcep origo of another civil katakata. There has been, you know, pockets of agitation in different parts. People saying they want to go. People say they want referendum. And now, you are now going to the extreme of trying to repossess what people have acquired legally come on be ready for the music because when the dj shall start playing the song you must dance 
with sorry, regards to man, sorry like i'm not aware of what is going on in lagos what is happening in the labor market if, if anyone can actually brief I, i'm not sure what's going on mr evis do you want to help uh take my my part of my time do you want to help uh, let me let now? me help you okay quickly thank you uh the what is going on in labor market is like this they are they are they are demarcating they, they are demarcating the, the um, houses buildings that are that are substandard, and they've taken their survey. They are trying to demarcate it, though we know what they are trying to do. But they are using the law that these buildings cannot um, stand, and they are going to bring it down. They've sent their they, whatever they sent to them, and it's just it's just uh, it's just unfortunate. The government you can't fight the government, and they are going ahead to it. But one thing that we all should know is that this thing, I believe, this thing is like a a distraction to everyone of to everybody that's what right. i'm saying thank you thank you sir thank you well I mean, my brother thank you very much for helping me out there to relate the information to my brother um uh, give us our mandate if i have to add a little bit of that i saw a video this is not allegedly i saw a video where traders in alaba market were being interviewed and asked what was going on and they said that the government ambushed them and gave them less than 24 hours to move their things that the next day that they were coming to destroy the market. And if your things were there, nothing is going to be spared. And you could see trailers load, uh, 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 traders, marketers, loading their goods and running for their dear life and uh, you know business. What is the reason? Because the foundation is that they say they refuse to vote for APC, that they voted for Labour Party. So therefore, and they want them, now they must go. If I'm to go back to the genesis of this, if you look at the, the video that circulated, where the selected vice president was speaking to a one-time governor in the West, I believe in Ogo State or something, that when they come into power, this is what they want to do. They want to send the Igbos out of Lagos. And what you are seeing playing out right now is not as a result of just what happened in the election. It is a premeditated plan attack of property grab. So I think for the Igbos, you must defend yourself. And it's high time. It's enough of developing another person's land. Because if the Igbos and the so-called uh, 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 non-indigents of Lagos that came there to establish and do their business, they are the ones that built that, that state. Take away these people from there and you realize that Lagos is the center of commerce for mouths. So it is high time you begin to relocate your businesses to somewhere else and come by fire by if they want it by fire if they want it by peace they will get it but you see the seaports across the Nigers, you see the seaports in the south must begin to function and they must be relegated to be operated by the state government and no longer federal that exclusively this fraudulent constitution must be brought down because that is the foundational problem of that country Thank you very much, Mr. Nanja Watch. Thank you. Thank you, um, Jija Breadman. God bless you. Thank you very much, everybody, right there. If you hear my voice, God bless you all. Okay, um, let me move on now to uh, to Niger. Finally, to Niger, thank you very much for joining us. Happy Father's Day to you. And uh, please talk to us. You have uh, eight minutes. To Niger, you are now available. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, I round up the show right now. Thank you very much, everybody, for your time with us. It's been a long day. Um, I want to appreciate you all for your time with us. Please endeavor to join us tomorrow live by 2 p.m. We're going to be taking on the live um, um, update, what is happening in court. 
So Naja was should be on air exactly 2 p.m. Let's do this together. And God now will bless you now. And I want to go back to the people, everybody today that supported me financially. Uh, I have a seven girl made there. Thank you very much. I beg Modi, Glory, Samsi. Thank you very much. Mike Hogg and Emaro Amaka E. Zipora. Thank you very much. And I have a uh, Peace Robert, Louis Okoko, uh, Janet Usawaru, Osa, Nosai, Osahari. Thank you very much. Madam Tusabi. Thank you very much. And I have the flashback. Dr. Alessandra Gomez, uh, Amazing Grace USA, Amaka, Afojebe. Thank you. God bless you all. Those of you that joined the panel today, I appreciate you all. The ones I still have here on my A show, CM, I give us a mandate. Uh, Jija Bread Ma, Black Panther, to Niger, Mother Busy Embrace. I appreciate you all. Mother Patricia, Mother Patricia was here today. Amaya Eskona was with us as well. Uh, Dr. Ken was with us. And then. Uh, 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 Mr. Shooks of was, was with us, Mr. Luis uh, was with us as well, and many others. Thank you, Helen was with us as well from Nigeria, and uh, why Williams with now from Nigeria as well. A lot of you joined the panel today. Thank you, my good people. Those of you that shared the like, I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you for what you're doing. It's a collective effort. If you leave it for me, I can't do it alone. I need you all for us to achieve this. Thank you, thank you. So it's, tomorrow is another wonderful day. Uh, is, tomorrow is going to be another wonderful day as the courts starts again. 2 p.m. We are going to be here. Join us live and let's take it together and um, and talk talk about it together as well. Togetherness, we all we achieve that. On the comment section, I would like to quickly appreciate Mother of All, Mommy Diaspora. Thank you very much, Mommy, for all you do for us. We love you. Thank you for your continuous uh, support. And God bless you for us. I can see Chris doubly right there. Mr. Chris, thank you very much for joining us. God bless you, sir. Happy Father's Day to you. And I can see right there, Fred Rame is right there with us. Amen. Bright is there. Uh, Gaku, uh, Goku is with us. Thank you. Savio and Dali, Funny. God bless you, all my people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Love of God is my strength is right there. Thank you very much. God bless you all. And Madam Irene was, was with us earlier on. Um, Latino Ambassador TV was with us, Amanda Patricia was with us as well. God bless every one of you. If we don't simple, I see you all right there, my people. Please help us to press on the like button before we go out to Vicent. Thank you very much. God bless you all. I appreciate you all. Happy Father's Day to every one of you, every good father out there. Every good father out there. I appreciate you all. Press on that like button as we round up right now. Thank you, thank you, Ogasim. I really appreciate you today. I'll be looking forward to having you tomorrow afternoon. If you are free, let's take the court update together. If not, then in the evening you guys can join us. But it looks like it's going to be a marathon for for me tomorrow because if I start around two, uh, it's going to clash with the six p.m. So that means it's going to be a continuous journey, you know. But nevertheless, we are here. You know, uh, none of us will labor in vain by the special grace of Almighty God. I appreciate you all, my people. And God, now God bless you now. My people, allow me to end the broadcast right now. I will say good night and bye for now, my people. I'm, I'm not sure I've said anything now. To Naja, I call you, call you, no answer now. We don't finish. Uh, yes, I, I didn't know. You. I was just here. I said I'd give you 10 minutes, but you didn't say anything. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't catch it. I don't know how I didn't catch it, but I okay, was listening go ahead. to it. Talk to us now. Talk to us. Thank you. Thank you, um, uh, Mr. Ninja Watch. And uh, greetings to everyone on the panel. And uh, happy Father's Day, according to Ninja Watch, to all the good fathers and all the bad ones. Uh, I don't know what they wish them. Uh, but that 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 said, um, uh, greetings to everyone in the you chat. You don't need to wish them anything. If you're a bad father, you don't deserve anything. <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, to the chat and uh, to the viewers. Um, uh, this uh, for me the one that is a little bit um, irritating me now is this um, Soinka's um, uh, um, going on, and he seems to just be. I don't know what's wrong with that man. I don't, I don't know. Is, is it because this, these are supposed to be thought leaders? You see why when uh, I started finding out some reality, uh, uh, that there's the facts about the Nigerian um, uh, situation, I started feeling like all our elders have been lying to us all this while. And these are the kind of ones uh, that 
ex exemplifies that. He just comes along and starts saying things and attacking people that are not fascistic. I don't know where the fascistic stuff comes from. I've been, uh, see, I've been, uh, this, I, you see, I've been on this panel, I've been, people have disagreed with me a lot and attacked me, but that does, that's not fascistic. Is he not still a Niger watch that is still saying, you know what, everybody still has a right to their own opinion? Where is the fas fascist, uh, fascistic uh, situation there? How about uh, the ones that are intolerant of others to the point whereby they physically attack them? He doesn't talk about that. Look at all the problems in the country. That the, 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 his main topic is to attack uh, people that are just believing in a leader. What is wrong with believing somebody that is doing the right thing? I, I don't get it with that guy. I don't know. And every every time he talks, he tells you that he's going to reveal himself more and more as one of the people that are causing the problems in the country. They are stunting our knowledge. I just feel aggrieved by it. Even the way he um, um, analyzed the, the situation in Africa and insulting African leaders for going to try to make peace. The whole thing is wrong-headed. Everything that he does, he tells you that these people, you don't know them because they are very, very clever. They hang around amongst us and stunt the way we see the world. He literally said, oh, uh, because the African leaders went to solve the problem, I think you can, what, what were they doing all this while? And at the same time, they went there, uh, they, they should have known that uh, Russia invading Ukraine is a bad thing. They should have condemned that part. Uh, how about him recognizing that Ukraine was told not to join NATO yeah. to stop a war? You no, know, he didn't bother to mention that aspect. He just, he just parroting what the Western powers want him to parrot. The whole thing is a mess. The way the guy talks seems to be very, very full of, it's like compromised completely from top to bottom. And how do we not even know that? His first, um, uh, this thing, uh, what they call it, um, uh, sponsors were from the Rockefeller Organization, something in America. Most of these, the, the, this thing that made him uh, the Nobel laureates, they're all from the West. This is why he thinks like that. And this is whether he thinks like that, whether he's even deliberate, whether that's what he was recruited to do, I don't know. These people, they just go around stunt. I, that's why I use that word, stunting. And in America, they call them gatekeepers or I think bully class or something like that. These are people, they go around in your community and they, they are employed by foreigners to stunt your knowledge. You will see them as elders and they'll tell you everything that you need to know. The thing that you need to know so that you don't really know the truth. They'll, get, they'll cover the real truth from you. And that is what these people do to our people. They don't literally tell them the truth. And he comes around just attacking one side without actually being even handed. When he's needed, he's not seen. When people were busy attacking Lagos uh, during the election, he didn't show up. Then when he exactly. shows up, whenever he likes, he just shows up. These are people, they really give me trust issues big time. I really don't like people like that, that just come and they could use their professional uh, DC degree to make it look like, oh, they, they deserve all kinds of respect and all that stuff. I don't buy it. Nigerians can buy into all those things. I've never subscribed to any of these things since my eye opened to the nonsense all these so-called professors use. use. This is why I didn't buy into the nonsense that the, I asked was selling before. And if you look at history too, it suggests that some, 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 some countries turn against this type of people. Whenever you see some major revolutions in countries, some of the classes they turn against, which is very surprising, people don't, know, don't remember. They burn books. They burn their elite classes. They, they attack their elite classes. And in the case of China, they actually attacked their professors, their educated people. Why? Because they feel that this will betray them. This is the kind of people that lead to that kind of situation where when you hear them talk, they talk with a forked tongue. They don't tell the people the real truth. Look at when Patrice, uh, this is the PLO Lumumba talks. When he talks, it tells you how the stuff truly is. But these these um, uh, people that are in our country, that's why our country is so blinded. We are so blinded. They won't open our people's eyes to the truth of this world. They, it, so, it so annoys me that way because when I watch Nigerians, the way they talk sometimes, it's like, are you in a different world? Because many African countries don't even think that way anymore. They are beginning to open their eyes to the truth of the situation. You look at the Kenyan president. They are talking about nations joining BRICS now. France is looking to attend the BRICS yeah. as, as, uh, conference. Nigerian leaders, yeah. nowhere to be seen on the radar. Nowhere yeah. to be seen. On, this is a major country in Africa. We are not on the radar at all because of people like this. Because they don't tell our people the truth. If someone like Wolin Sega was telling uh, Nigeria, ah, BRICS is getting hell. Where are we? What are, what's your plan? Are you not looking to join this major organization of the world so that we have an, an, an alternative against the dollar? Dollar is crushing our economy day in, day out. 
is literally decimating our economy. We don't have any other option. And our leaders are not even looking at another option. The last time they tried it with the, the Schengen, this is what they tried to have with the Chinese. That one didn't go anywhere. Now, the, 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 this is, many countries are queuing up to join the BRICS organization. Nigeria is nowhere on the queue. Our leaders don't say anything about it. But instead, the one he wants to pick on is uh, obedience and the so-called fascists in the country that wanted to found uh, this in interim government and all the rest of it. If, I, that, people like that, we really need to watch out for them. When you hear people not talking about nationalistic stuff, you should watch out for them. I can't even believe they asked him about Nigeria. I don't, he said, I'm not so sure Nigeria should be together again. <laughs> oh, God, 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 God. And that is a thought leader in your country. I'm not sure. Let him go and see nation builders. If he doesn't understand what nation building is, he should just go and rest in one corner. And there are some leaders that will emerge that are nationalists. If he talks that nonsense, where he's going to find himself, he's, not, he's going to be surprised. People like that, we need to learn to highlight them and t said, let, call them out on the nonsense that they're educating our people on. That. We shouldn't be respecting them because they are the ones that would wink us into this slavery that we are in. He is part of the leading class that led us into this situation where we have life expectancy of 53 years. What has this man got to say about that? Nothing. Other than Niger, it's false direction. To Niger, sorry to say something. Thank God you've come You've come to join us. Thank God you are joining us now very well. You see the kind of leaders we have? You see them now. We are against them. You see why we are against them now? Yeah, yeah. and, and what, what frustrated me was that when to, to hear two areas where he was, he showed three areas. First, he, he said, I don't know whether Nigeria should be together. How dare you? You got your, your this thing, all the stuff you got if that you used to pose yourself right now is true Nigeria. Then you, you go on to say that the obedience are the ones uh, they are like, oh, they shouldn't be acting like uh, this thing, something like that. He, the way he described them is so condescending. Then he goes on to insult African leaders. He, he didn't know what um, uh, um, uh, this thing um, uh, Obasanjo was doing last year. Was settling a peace deal between uh, the Tigrayan and the Ethiopian government. What was Wole Soinka doing when Nigerians were telling each other apart? Where was he? Even, even in, in Lagos. I, I see people like that. They really you see. I don't mind. You see, when normal Nigerians are criticizing him, people say, "Oh, yeah, they are insulting a, a Nobel." I don't care for a person like me. I don't care because my own look at it beyond him. I don't care because people like that are the ones that got us into this mess, and they are very dangerous. For me, they are like how do I put it? They are like an umbrella that just blocks our people's eyes, and that danger that they pose to our people is mortal. More than a thousand man standing army. What, what is a thousand man? Fifty thousand standing army. They are more dangerous to us than that because they will tell you everything is alright. Let's keep going and let's just keep fixing things a little bit because the situation is not so, so bad. Believe you me, the situation is really bad. Our nation, we need to take it back. These are our people. We need to set them on one side because if you have a life expectancy of 53 in the world of 2023, you know things are bad. Things are really bad. A lot of people are not living long enough, not up to his age, obviously. He's lived well past 53 years. Okay. Most, of us, for one minute, up, sir. most of us don't make it up to that point. So, yeah, that, let me see if I can go to that because this guy just really got into my head. And the Alaba market issue I think they wanted to destroy, they want to destroy 320 buildings in the, this thing. When I checked it out, it turns out that Alaba Market they picked about 12 or 17 buildings from there to demolish too. So it's not necessarily a case of, oh, they are targeting uh, this in Igbo people and they are worried that uh, maybe some buildings are going to collapse. So they try to deal with it before uh, it collapses. The question is uh, who owns the property and uh, whether they, after the demolition and rebuild it, the person still owns their property. Those are the kind of things one needs to watch out for. Um, so yeah, that is that. On, on that one. So I think I will leave it at that. This Wole Soinka one really got, in, got, got me going, especially picking on obedience. I'm getting tired of people talking that nonsense. What has obedience done other than shout out at people at, on YouTube or on uh, Facebook? Because what have they said, done? They've not done anything to anybody the question, on the streets. The question they should have asked Wole Soinka is, what right. is the assessment of that, of that election? Let him assess it and tell the world what he felt Chimamanda assessed it and they wrote in a, a piece article piece. So many people assessed it international. So what you will show Inca's assessment of that result of that election? That's what that's what people should hear. 
So he, that he seems to come across as an American, as American uh, mouthpiece uh, on on our this in uh, on our environment. He is American mouthpiece there. Yeah, we, thank you, Niger Watch. All right, uh, thank you very much, uh, my people. Like I said before, um, we need to round up now. Yes, I have a long. Uh, <laughs> broadcast to handle tomorrow so i don't want my broke uh this particular broadcast to uh, see this thank you thank you now god bless you now continue to support us encourage us share our videos and let us do this together you know um i have love of god calling in right now is we're rounding up now madam good evening to you we are rounding up now we are going now yes quickly and what is car work with a cia for in america Okay. So that's why well, that's I just surprised. want to say that for you to know. You Thank work you. with uh, Tulumbu. Yeah. That so that's why it's that, like that. So the American really know him. Thank you. Thank so you. that's what I want to say. God bless your mother. So so, okay. so, 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 obvi so obviously he must be putting a word or two. A, a word or two exactly. on behalf of Tinubu for uh, to the America. Yes, because he said Tinubu's wife furnished his kitchen. I remember when they said it in this and said Tinubu bought uh, the wife before he knew it. The kitchen has been furnished, the stock stocked it with full stuff, all those nonsense. That man self is trying to he's losing prestige every day. Look at what you are saying. You, eh? you can spot them so now shameful. because they've been traitors all along. We just were not able to recognize them. When you yes, it's when somebody you when you realize that somebody has been burning, you know, knocking down your house piece by piece. That's when you when you recognize that. That's when you know that they were they were not helping you all along. They are pretending as if they were helping you build. While they were helping to decimate your people. These people and and, and uh, Niger Watch. I don't know whether this is relevant. Um, there is this um, guy on the chat that they call Eti Osa. He seems to be insulting Omoye Kona quite a lot. And uh, maybe they should check him out because he seems to be doing that. You know, very very insulting to uh, Omoye Kona, and it's not nice. Um, so um, that's just that anyway. By the side. Is it? Is yeah, it yeah, it? Eti Osa. Now. No, he, he, I saw yeah, it earlier yeah. on. One of his posts was about sixty something year old. Um, run, right. run you don't leave. You like don't that. leave us. Oh, sorry. No, please yeah. mute yourself now. Our guest here. If you are calling somebody, mute yourself, please. No. Um. Okay. I didn't. Nobody can insult anybody and tag anybody here. I've said it over and over again. So I didn't see any message like that. Anybody targeting anybody. But apart from that, as long as no, if they didn't tag anybody, anybody are free to say whatever they want to say there. If you tag it to anybody, then you'll be you'll be blocked and removed. Okay. okay. Because yeah. he says a pretender with a spiritual mass as a 75-year-old Ededena girl, expired runs girl, no body. Did he mention no, he didn't mention the and name. You shouldn't have bring it here, please. Uh, you okay, one, I didn't you know the, the rules on that one. Bringing what is not in existence here now. You know, okay, maybe, maybe uh, uh, somebody was complaining about it. Yeah, let the person stop complaining. We've annulled this out. People should be dragging Omo Yes Connor's name to everything because I've okay. them never, nobody should mention our name here anymore. So, any name that's not our name, please, nobody should tag those things with her anymore. Okay, please. that's fine. Yes. If, if, it's, if that's, that's the case, not, uh, our name is Omo Yes Connor. You know, anybody mm. who mentioned her name, I insult her, then I'll handle that. Okay, Thank that's you. fine. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Makes thank sense. you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, this is where we draw the curtain. Good night. Join us by 2 p.m. We'll be covering the uh court case live uh tomorrow by 2 p.m. God bless you all. Bye for now. I know they do competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love. Go there, biza biza. Come on, but I want to know if I can I can be. I know they do competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love, oh. I can show you love, oh. Come on, but I want to know if I can. But I know they do competition with anybody.
forgive me. Show me love, oh. I go show you love. Come on, Bala, one load, you know, if I go. Thank you. 